where we last left off last session. Our group of intrepid adventurers had um, successfully completed a task uh, involving uh, one flaming revenant in uh, the town of Belmere. That's the wrong map. And um, they had uh, just found out some information about one of their teammates' backstories. Uh, apparently, one uh, erudite was willing to uh, divulge all the little things that she was attempting to figure out on her own uh, and uh, inform the rest of the team. And uh, from that point on, you guys then started going back to, to the town of Sussain, where um, one Mercy then decided <laughs> to enact a prank upon the, uh, the leader of the Royal Blue Cloaks. Uh, we which involves purchasing some them. wood glue or oh my being God. given some wood glue for free. Uh, and then gluing a wooden phallus to her boss's door. Oh my God. Got, she also got the solvent to take it off. Yes, yeah, she also got that as well. It was good. And she purpled it. I did. And she fondled it with the purple paper. <laughs> and was consistently reapplying it as necessary. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Dan, and I guess, I guess Maddie might have been there. Did we decide uh, that? I believe, yes, I, that does remind me. Uh, Jolly. Uh, she's muted she's... because her parents are loud. But... Oh, God, kill them both. Um, <laughs> Honor, what is with you today? Can you go push the talk, Jolly? Would that help? Yeah, you can go. <coughs> uh, so, um, you were left behind with um, uh, Feldea. Uh, and uh, you guys are staying in the inn for a little bit, the, uh, the Lucky Sapphire. Um, and you sat there at a table and watched as the large tiefling companion of yours, Mercy, took out a carved wooden penis, applied glue to the base of it, and then stuck it on the door leading to Avaro's room, his office. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Enough. That's this group, Jolly. That's this group. Welcome. Uh, and... Well... You missed all of Rudy's backstory. You missed, you missed some backstory, um, uh, which well, we I, suppose, we, I suppose I suppose we'll say that you, you fell asleep during. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell you. We'll tell yeah. you later. And you just witnessed that. Uh, I granted, I think we'll avoid having a scene with you until your parents learn to stop talking uh, but uh, yes so first and foremost we'll go over to Caleron and Erudite uh, as you two were attempting to go have a meeting with the governor and I believe we took Avril with us yeah Avril's you, with you us you did mm -hmm. Avril was yeah. with you as he is a, a a surefire ticket to get an entrance yeah okay so uh, you guys begin making your way over uh, to the Platinum District of Sursain. Um, you are all currently wearing your blue cloaks as it is fairly necessary. Yeah. Um, and uh, you are led through the, uh, the gates of the Platinum District without any real uh, interruptions or um, difficulty. Uh, the guards see you there with, with Avro and allow you through relatively quickly. Um, shortly afterwards, uh, you were brought towards the uh, the governor's office, and you have to sit for a bit. Uh, you're, you're stuck there waiting for about five or so minutes, as it does sound like there's a conversation occurring just beyond the office. Do um, I hear any office. of it? I mean... Got that torn into you, passive perception? I know, with your passive perception, yeah, you would. Um, yes, it's politics. Anything interesting? Uh, no. They are having they are having a discussion about um, attempting to route out the um, the um, Ketan, uh in the Copper District and trying mm -hmm. try to uh, remove them completely, but um, it doesn't sound like there's a solid plan at the moment. So, okay. no, not particularly interesting. But there's a little bit of stuff you got. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
Uh, is there anything you guys wish to do during the five minutes of waiting or no? I'm happy just eavesdropping. Well, like, right. as subtly as possible, you know? Alright. Um, I'm just that opening case... the journal, so I'm like, like mm, trying to find the page. Okay. Gotcha. It will be page two. Or, or uh, the notable page two. Right. I, I will point out to you, those pages that I am giving you, they are... The important stuff. The, yeah, they are the noteworthy pages. There's, yeah. There are plenty of other sections in the journals that are not really worth them, even. Understandable. Uh, so, after about five minutes of sitting around and waiting for uh, whatever is happening to cease, uh, eventually the door opens up and you see uh, two individuals walk out. Uh, one, a uh, fairly short and rotund-looking dwarven man with a long beard stretching down to his uh, his pot belly, uh, and a completely uh, kind of a friar tuck, um, balding crown um, with a big bulbous nose. Uh, and a, uh, a a taller, more slender woman. Um, she looks like she may have some half elf, uh, so some some elven blood somewhere in her lineage, but it's not enough to make her a half elf. It looks like it's at some point grandma or grandpa may have been an elf or a half elf. Mm-hmm. Sort of. um, long platinum blonde hair, um, slight, slightly slanted eyes, um, but a uh, one of those Marilyn Manson. Not, not Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, Two very God. different people, I apologize. Very, very different. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoopsies. <laughs> Oopsie, whoopsies. Uh, yes, the Marilyn Monroe um, freckle and that's it. You know, aside from that, they they appear to be wearing a very nice garb and are walking out carrying a few um, a few pages of notes and, and uh, scrolls. And you see, uh, gesturing him out the door is one... Um, Governor Kirk. Hello, Governor. Hello. Oh, it's very nice to uh, see you all again. Um, I was uh, given a, a small heads up that there was something you wish to discuss, correct? Well, I think both of us each wish to discuss a different thing. Mm hmm. His is more general and mine's more specific. Mine will also probably be faster, if you don't mind me going first. Yes, you go first. Alright, so, it has come to my attention that you'd be the person to talk to about this. And I pull out the 25 priest goes in gold. Now, in our journeys, we were covering Lelisa, we did find this. And she said that it was priest gives in currency. And we were wondering if it would be of any value to you, possibly in exchange for monetary or object compensation um well it is uh, certainly is quite old um i don't i don't believe that i would have uh, very much use for it but i'm i'm certain that i could uh, pass it along and find another collector that would uh, be willing to have it if you are so interested uh as for how much i'd be able to get for it i'm i'm not entirely sure but i could certainly make an attempt to uh, get a good deal. But uh, golden objects like this aren't really aren't really of note for me anymore. Mm. I'm more interested in my magical objects and books and such. That's fair. But if you'd be willing to reach out, I'd be happy to discuss. Uh, I can certainly do something of the sort. I could even attempt to do the um, some of the bothering for you, I suppose, if you do wish. I believe that would be more than acceptable. Very well. Uh, if you leave it with me, I will, I will get back to you as soon as possible and tell you uh, what what was achieved by uh, selling this off. Basically, you leave the money with him, he'll yeah. try to find a good seller, and he'll come back to do whatever he gets. Yeah, I figured. And that's fine with me. I'd do that. And I guess I just sort of... You'd be leaving back with him. A little bit. What was what? that? What was that? I just said that I'd scooch to like the back of the room and let... Oh, okay. Yeah. After that, unless there was something else that he wanted for me. No. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, so, Rudy's just gonna 
open the page. And she's just gonna be like, I'm just curious. Um, I was left this by uh, by by someone that cared that cared very much for me, and uh, he left me this. However, there's just these spots on the page that I can't seem to uh, see. Really, doesn't really make sense. And I know it's not magic. Do you know anything else that could cause this, or any way of possibly seeing this? Uh. I'm sorry, you you, uh, you say that this isn't magical. It's not. I've I've done things to see if it's magic and nothing has popped up. That can't be right. Um, may I see the book for a moment? Yeah, of course. Hands it over. Uh, uh, you pass the uh, pass the book over to the fire fire Ganassi, <clears> and uh, <throat> you do watch as he um, he lets out a small. Uh, it sounds almost like a small. Um, Maybe like a passage of a song. It has that odd mel- melodic tune to it. And then you watch his eyes flare up. Uh, <coughs> and it looked like he cast a detect magic spell. Uh, but he looks it over and nods his head and goes, Well, you're right. That's not magical. And I'm not sure why it isn't. Um, I can't rightly think of anything of the sort that would cause this. Um, uh, no, nothing is uh, coming to mind. It, uh, this this should be based of, off of a magical effect to to make uh, this happen. Uh, Connor. Yes. I know it's incredibly unlikely, but since Cal is familiar with keeping things secret, would he have any idea what this could be? No. Okay. And I figured it's a small chance, but I figured that out. I keep secrets. Can I know this thing that even the wizard doesn't know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I feel like I would have first I have Even the very smart wizard, I'm spirit. assuming, is what he is. He's not a wizard. Oh, he's not a wizard? Okay, no. whatever. I, I always thought he would be, but it's me. But even the very smart man that's researcher dude is not going to know. I, get, I know, I know. I figured there was a super small <laughs> chance, but I figure I would ask. You get nothing for not asking. Uh, Fair mm, enough. True. true. Uh, but mm. I can't, I can't rightly say I know. Uh, what this is. I also don't really understand this this is a cipher. Um, oh, I've understood that. That I figured out. Alright. Uh, well, um, I'm afraid there's not very much I can, I can assist with on, in this regard. I, uh, I don't know very much about it. Um, uh, or, or the drawing. It just looks like a just looks like a drawing of of glasses? glasses? Yes. <sighs> okay. Well, thank you. I didn't know if you... You you seem to be a very... You seem to have a lot of knowledge, so I thought maybe you could help. But it, it's, you know... Uh, there's you. not very much I can do with... Uh, <clears throat> can't detect magic off of it. And... <clears throat> yes, uh, yes. Uh, I understand. Thank you. Um... And she holds her hand out for the book back. You are. Sorry. Did not mean to snort. <laughs> it takes the book back. Puts it back in her bag. Actually, just hold on to the book. Doesn't put it back in her bag. Because she's mm. going to go somewhere else with it. Got it. Uh, mm-hmm. Is there anything else you guys... No. Nope. That's uh, it. Yes. But I have several things that I'd like to do with Aerodite, though. I feel like we should... Yeah. Because I definitely yeah. want to let uh, Avar go back to in the end. I would like to. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Erudite's just gonna like walk out. Like she's gonna be like, okay, and just walk out and start walking towards the Sagio shop. Uh, Erudite. Yes. I actually might have something that could help you. Really. Yes. Though I what? suppose. I should apologize first. It was not my intention to put the group in danger in the Underdark, but... Mm. I had my reasons for keeping secrets, but I did not want to to put the group in danger. As much as I would like to just forgive you, it's going to take a lot more than just asking for forgiveness for me to trust you again. That's fair. But, as it seems, we will be 
working together on personal matters in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Figured I should at least put that effort out there. Understand, and I appreciate it, but it's going to take... I've been through a lot in my life, and I'm not... It, being quick to trust is not something... I've learned that you, you shouldn't be so quick to trust people. So, And when people show you who they are, they usually mean it. Kelly just chuckles. I understand all too well. But I do have something that might help. And I pull out the holy symbol from the demon cultists we fought. Mm -hmm. When we fought these cultists, I had that moment where I was being like super cleric -y and And it felt good at the time, but you know, I'm still sort of new to this thing, like I mentioned to you. Mm -hmm. on the road to our first mission so I was like yo Saren Ray is this fine and she didn't really say anything but I got the impression that she was cool with it so I figure yo Saren Ray uh can I run religion on that on that thing but while it's uh, on the on the amulet yeah oh yes you're very well good but it's like while well, they're not entirely similar but if anyone would know about devils and demons, I feel like it'd be a church. So if you want to come with me, we can, A, yeah, get this to start at the temple, and then maybe they know something. Um, I actually need to head off to, to see Asashio, so... I um, actually have to see him too, but I feel like this might have answers. I... As much as I would like to, I truly... I'm gonna roll religion, but like she doesn't care about religion, so... Um, you're free to do that, but it's not really that important to me, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I, she doesn't care. Eight, she doesn't care. She's <laughs> like, she's like, I. That's it's it's an amulet of I believe it was a to see. I think we to see no. the this demon. To see it was it was an amulet demon of Dike. Demon Yeah, you already got that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and uh, she's just like she's just was. like uh, I really just need to head to Sashio's. You're Very free well. to do that, but I don't. You, you're free to do that. I do not really care to do that. I just need to go to Asagio's, pick up a book, and get back to the tavern. And the amulet's on a cord, right? Of course. And then he just, Kelly just sort of starts twirling it and starts walking to the temple and just sort of casually waves behind him. Cool. All right. She's just going to head to Asagio's shop. All right. Uh, so, uh, how's it how's it going on your end, Jolly? Are they quieter? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, geez. Jesus. Go somewhere else. Are you attached to a laptop? What the fuck? Can you go over there and tell them to like chill? It's been yelling for like twenty minutes. Michelle, normal people can't do that. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I, I can. <laughs> Why not? Oh god! If I ever told my mother to shut up, she would gut me like a. Here's fish. the thing. Mood. I think it's just an age thing. Is that I'm like older now that I can just be like, "Yo, chill out. You're being really loud." See, it's I can do that if I'm doing it jokingly. But if I was ever serious, I, again, it's an age thing. I think more than anything, because like. I guess being in your thirties, your parents are less like parents and more like people. Because I have told my mom, "Hey, mom, chill out. You're being freaking loud." I mean, I've called my mom a fucking bitch, but that's a different story. Mm. Again, my mom would gut me like a fish. I know. I've met your mom. Your mom demands respect from you, which I get yeah. because I love my mom. I know so much. Your mom anyway. is a So, uh, I guess for the for the time being, Jolly, you're you're gonna be mute. <laughs> Oh, poor, poor, poor Madeline. Ugh, oh, God, that sucks. Aww. Um, so let's see. Jace, um, Gail was off picking up stuff for his totem. Yes. All right. Um, Morgan is currently non-existent for the moment because her player's not here. Um, I think she just bought armor. Yeah, she bought she bought uh, some armor. Uh, I remember. Oh well, Mercy, I know what you're doing. You're you're waiting. Wasn't Ro just like wandering <laughs> around town? Yeah, Ro abandoned everyone to walk around the city. 
Sorry. What is Ro doing, anyways? That like I know there I knew there was someone else thinking of that was doing something I didn't know about. I mean, I don't know. No real purpose. Just kind of getting away from everyone for a little Got bit. It. A little too buddy buddy over there. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> She's like, oh god, it's so much emotion. No, oh please. god, they're being friendly. I Disgusting. can't believe. Also, I want to point out, Bo's the only one that knows she carved a dick, so she's missing Mercy gluing the dick. Don't matter to her. She's gone. Bye. <laughs> for now, not for. All right. <laughs> so, in that case, I suppose we will. Uh, now let's keep going with the Galeron and uh, and Erudite. Erudite, you are going yes. over to Asagios. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. So you make your way over to Asajo's oddities, uh, and you do find that yes, the store is open, uh, and Asajo is there behind the uh, the uh, the main desk as always. Hello, Mr. Demay. Ah, hello, Miss Erudite. It's very nice to see you again. It's very nice to see you again. Uh, first off, I have the rest of the money for the for the uh, for the book. Excellent. So I'm, gonna, Excellent. I'm going to hand him over the 25 gold and then mark and up my thing. He will, he will take it gladly. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I, I was able to get a book on uh, demons and fiends and the like, but it's, it, again, it's not as in depth as one would like. I tried to make sure it would be as accurate as possible, but. That's understandable. For the, for the amount, hmm, that's only. Okay. Really, I, I don't worry about it. Any help would any information would be of help. Right. Uh, in that case, uh, here you are, uh, oh, and cool. he passes you over. Uh, oh god, I have so much stuff. He passes you over uh, the book that you're. Is it, is it a title? Does it have a title? Uh, it is um, uh, the myth of demons and fiends. Oh, sorry, the, okay. it would be the myth of fiends. Fiends. And... All right. All right. Cool. Okay, so she takes that, she puts that in her bag, and then she opens the she opens the journal to the same page she showed the governor, and she's just gonna say, "Mr. Janae, I I've been asking everyone, and I'm not sure if you're going to be of much help either, because I've asked many smart people, but you seem to be the smartest man I know, to be quite honest." Thank you. And it's <laughs> very kind. You she. He kind of like puffs himself up a little bit. <laughs> she does think this though. Like this isn't like her like puffing him up. This is like the truth. I know, but like, that's her... him reacting to it. Yeah, she's just like, you're, you're, and um, I have this journal that was left to me by my mentor, and he left this this uh, this page specifically. It has this writing on it that I can't seem to read, no matter what I do, and it's not magical. Is can you maybe help me figure out why it's like that, or what I can do to like be able to see it and read it? Uh, I could very well make an attempt. Um, uh, may I may I see the uh, the page in yes, question? Of course, and she just hands it over to him. Uh, all right. You watch as he does uh, make us make a quick incantation and uh, do some head movements that you do recognize as detect magic. <laughs> It's the same thing everyone's doing. It's everybody's everybody with magic is gonna go. There's no way this isn't magical. Exactly, I understand that. It totally is like a sensical thing to say. Yeah, and uh, you do see his eyes kind of squint a bit as he looks over it. I, you are correct. It's not. It's not magical, um, which is strange. Um, there, there really isn't very much else in the way of uh, uh, possibilities. Uh, it could be maybe psionic, but I, I, I doubt that. That's very, very rare. Psionic. Yes, it's it's a, uh, a type of magic. Uh, he does like air quotes when he says magic. Uh, okay. It, uh, it's not name, but it, you said you're. Well, who is this from, out of curiosity? Because I just realized he would not know that. Uh, it's from uh, the man who taught me every uh, all the magic that I know. He was a wizard, correct? Yes, he was. Then it's not possible that he used that. Uh, and uh, now I'm very confused. Um, <laughs> I've never heard of anybody uh, knowing both magic and psionics at the same time. It's not... It's just 
it's never occurred. Um, I, I'm quite confounded uh, by this, Miss uh, Miss Erudite. I'm, I'm, I'm generally not too too sure of this. Um, maybe. Uh, well, you see, there's glasses here. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, uh- can you make glasses that do that sort of thing? I don't. I don't know if there's glasses that can do that. Uh, can you I, do that? Can you make glasses like that? I can make. I can make glasses that uh, see certain things and read certain things. Yes, it's it's very uh, easy to do. Uh, I, 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 I'm doing that right now. Uh, but I. Oh, you uh, are. Yes, uh, but I. I um, if I don't necessarily know how it's doing this, then it's tougher to to make something to mm. counteract it, you know. Uh, perhaps there's a spell or something of the sort that could uh, 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 pry some information from it or, or something of the sort, but I, I believe it to be uh, quite, um, quite, quite a talented uh, mage to do something of this sort and then hide all evidence of magic being involved if it is he was he was magic. quite talented so it is possible uh, well um i i would say i could i could certainly look into uh, spells that could assist with that or uh, maybe objects that could read things but i i don't believe that is something i could uh, make or cast uh, not for this Okay, well, well, if if you don't know it, I don't know who could. Uh, but thank you, anyway, for trying. I appreciate it. Uh, it well, um, it's uh, not a problem at all. Um... Is he just like looking at the journal, just like very confused? Yeah, it's it's he he was he was clearly looking over a certain section several times like trying to read it and then he watches his eyes just kind of glaze over drifted, like drifted past it and then yeah. he'd go back and try to read it again and they just drift past it yeah. every single time yeah well thank you anyway um, i'll take it back now uh here you are uh, is there uh, is there anything else i can uh, assist you with I am quite curious as to what glasses you're making. You mentioned you were making glasses. Um, what are you making? Uh, I'm curious. Cole, about remind you me. Did you ever ask uh, Asagio to not mention this? Uh, he did not, but I also feel like, to be fair though, would he go about talking about other people's orders? Fair. Yeah, uh, I'll need you to roll persuasion check for me. Okay, cool. That's not going to go well, but then we'll try it anyway. <laughs> Take your shot, buddy. Yep. You know, it doesn't hurt to try. Hey, that's actually pretty decent. <laughs> uh, it's it's an object for another uh, another client of mine. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, but I I can't oh, currently. Fifteen. That's tell so you. good for her. Oh, you rolled well. against you. Okay, that's fine. Oh well. <sighs> that's fine. I was just, I didn't, I don't, I just want to know what kind of stuff you can do. That's all. But that's oh, all. I can, I can do very, uh, very much. If, uh, if there's anything you wish me to try to uh, make for you or, or uh, come um, up I with, don't, I'm sure I mean, check it. <laughs> I'm really tempted to do something really mean. Okay. Is is there any way you can do something? Because I'm having issues, or I just there's someone I don't trust currently, and is I just want him to tell. He just doesn't tell the truth. It seems sometimes, or just keeps things hidden, and they don't. I could go about him. making a, an object that allows uh, that uh, forces someone to tell the truth, but um, the issue with that is the spells of that sort are. Uh, typically divine and I understand uh, well and a, uh, a spell of that sort such as zone of truth um, people are typically very aware that it's been cast. yes I am aware of that 
Uh, no, it's fine. I would be interested in that, but I also am more interested in buying spells. That's where I'd rather have my money spent. That is entirely doable. Yes. I'd rather have my money spent there. I just, it, it is a little frustrating for me, but I don't, I just, I must, I, I, if anything, I'll just go with my inst- not trust easily. Hmm. That's all. Very well. Um... <laughs> Cool, I heard you. <laughs> I was muted. No, you were. I heard someone in the background. Uh, no, that's fine. That's there's really nothing I can do about that right now. I, I assume that would be an expensive product anyway. Uh, fairly expensive, uh, depending on how subtle it needed to be. You said she like holds up the armband, and she's just like, "You said it would be expensive to fix these things, correct?" Oh yes. Yes. Mm. Even um, to like replace one? Uh, replacing one would be doable. It would take time and it would take money, and mm-hmm. but I could I could very well do it. Okay, it's something I may think about doing later. Maybe if we get more money. Uh, but yes, but and uh, just out of curiosity, the spells lightning bolt and uh, um, Neoman's tiny huts. I know you told me that fireball would cost two fifty. Would the other two spells be the same price? Uh, they're both level three, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, that's all. And um, she's gonna like head off to the bookstore really quick. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connor. But <laughs> she's gonna do that. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna head back over to uh, King of the Nodding Raven. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Michelle lost all her. N- where my book is, I have to. F- but yeah, we're gone. All, that's good. all right. Uh, so uh, you head back over to the Nodding Raven, um, and uh, you uh, you see uh, bustling around the uh, the bookstore is uh, the the elderly gnomish woman, uh, uh, Ganaren. She's gonna buy a couple. Um, hi. Hello there. Hi, Gary. Uh, is there anything I can uh, help you, you out sh- with? What would you, you think of the the, uh, the books? Uh, they're good so far. I've only I've only read one. I've only read uh, the Bride of Twilight so far, but I enjoyed it very much. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, so, is there um anything else I can uh, find for you? Uh, just the other book that you showed me the last time I was here. And if you have anything interesting new, that's new. Let me double check. You bought uh, the Bride of Twilight and, and the stolen, stolen lace one. Stolen lace. It's here's in the diary. For the yeah, third I'll one. take. I'll take that one. All right. Uh, that's about um, five copper. Okay. She hands him five. She hands five copper. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Is there anything else I can? Uh... Nope. Okay. Well, please enjoy the books. I will. What was it called, Connor? Uh, it is here's in the diary. All right, and then I head back to the tavern. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> that goddamn being... book. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not like gonna get you to make certain things other books because like there's 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 one that I would want, but I can I can do other books. Um, as a now I'm... as a now writing it is Kate's problem. She can. Yeah. Handle it. I'm going to. Uh, she's. Oh eventually no, Kate. <laughs> Kate's not here. No, I mean she 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 literally just posted that she found another trashy yeah. romance novel, just as we were talking about it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, God, God. Time, really. <laughs> that's amazing. Kate's like not even in here, and she knows. Uh. All right. Well, she's gonna head back to the tavern. Uh. So, let's move over to Caleron. Caleron. What's up? Uh, you're heading over to the church, correct? Mm-hmm, the Temple of Sanray. Temple of Sanray. Uh, so, uh, you begin making your way over to the temple uh, in the Guild District. And... Oops. Shit, where'd it go? Nope, nope. I lost it! Fuck. Can we at least have the map of Sosain while we're no. here? Sosain. Why? I don't even have the mouse! It's true. 
Yeah. yeah, but Jill might do. And Jill's gonna doodle a dick on it. I'm <laughs> responsible. No, you're not. Yes, I am. That's a lie. Uh, there, it's there. It's also not the map as you're saying. It's it's a dune. Oh, I don't have it. Okay. That's annoying. Uh, so, uh, you make your way over to same in the gold district, and uh, you would see that uh, it is. Uh, I, believe, I believe it was about about noon right now. Okay. <laughs> This is why. I, mean, I see it. It's immediate. It's, it's, it's pretty obvious. It's right there. <laughs> Who would do that? I don't know. <laughs> Who would do this? Who would do such a thing? It is a mystery. Hey, it's not on the map. <laughs> this is why Connor does He's going to take it away again. This is why I do it. <laughs> anyway, come on. All right, guys. Price. So, head back over to the uh, Temple of Saren Ray in the Gold District. Uh, and you do see that the temple itself is, is fairly quiet for the moment. Um, it looks like the, um, the uh, ceremonies that may have been occurring have already come and gone. And uh, as of now, there are, are really only a few people in the church, and all of them appear to be wearing vestments of Saren Ray. Um, you see one does have, uh, uh, is wearing articles of clothing that uh, appear... Uh, much more elegant, uh, but they all bear the uh, the golden uh, mark of Sarah Ray on it. I guess I'll go up to the fancy one. All right. Uh, so you walk up to a uh, a what appears to be a uh, a high elven woman, uh, and uh, she looks you over and goes, "Hello, hello." Hey. Yeah, I apologize. Sorry. I apologize. Please continue. Um, I am in need of a bit of assistance. I, <clears throat> sorry, I myself am a follower of Saren, right? But I'm a little new to it, and I'm not entirely sure how to get rid of this. And I've pulled out the amulet. Hmm. Well, um... Brother, I do appreciate you um, giving this to us. Um, where did uh, where did you find this thing? Well, I'm with the blue cloak. I say as I sort of just you know dramatically kind of stretch my arm to make sure that my cloak you know rustles. And <laughs> on one of our adventures, we encountered some cultists to deceive and. Deceived Dykid, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that guy. And we were curious as to what they were doing, who these people we had suddenly encountered were, and it turns out they were cultists to this deceit. And never really just threw it away, so we figured, or I figured I'd bring it here and see what we can do about getting rid of it permanently. Well, I certainly look into destroying it. It'll take a little bit of time. But I do appreciate you um, bringing this to my attention. Um, is this the only object that you retrieve from these heretics? Uh, we did sort of leave the rest of them in the caves. Well, um... Mm. It's... They are deceased, correct? Yes, they are very much dead. Good enough, I suppose. Um... I'll, I'll look into having this um, destroyed and um, consecrated. Uh, but uh, aside from that, um... Yeah. Uh, aside from that, there's not much else to be done. Fabulous. Um, I never caught your name, young man. Um, you are? Uh, Caleron. Ah. Uh, uh, hi, Cleric Lyron. Hi, Cleric Lyron. Nice to meet you. And he offers his hand. He will, she, she, he will shake your hand with you know, a, and how a, fairly, a fairly firm grip. 
Is it like this? Is this? Oh, I see. Uh, quite literal spelling. Okay. That's what I got. It works. No, it's fine, it's fine. I do find it a little funny that lie is in her name. Yes, for a, for a follower of the god of honesty and redemption. <laughs> I mean, Cal can't say anything. because Shut up, Cal. shut up, Becca. <laughs> Why are you always lying? <laughs> um, god, I love that vine. Okay, sorry. Um, beyond that, I don't really think I have anything. Okay, well, there's one thing. And apparently, yes. one of my party members made a deal with a demon or something. Maybe their parents did. I don't really know. Or care, to be honest. But should that come up, any information you have on that kind of thing would be helpful. If one of your party members made a deal with a demon, then you yes. should be bringing them to the light of Saren Ray. I tried, <laughs> but she does not seem to care for me much. With good reason. <laughs> if it's their parents, though, then there's nothing to be done. The pact was made, and they are simply a byproduct of a unpleasant deal. And would the fact that she is a tiefling change anything? She's a only a tiefling, correct? Yes, to About, my knowledge. About normal sized, like most mm -hmm. people. And I, to be fair, I did do that little magic spell as you detect, like you know, devils and demons and stuff. You and she didn't pop up there. You attempted to search for a fiend. I see. Yes. Um, I searched for like, anything. And in that case, she didn't it, pop up. it does not appear that she made a pact. It sounds like her parents made a pact. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever come across an individual that you believe did they would very likely show up um, under the uh, um, with with the effect of that um, uh, as you put it it, um, it it would show you who uh, has performed such an act Okay. but if she is simply a tiefling then there is nothing to be done she's simply a tiefling cool and the chances that whatever entity made this deal with her parents or whatever is going to come try to claim her or attack her. Like, how often does that happen? Who knows? Uh, I I would suppose that to be a very good question for um, for uh, Our Lady the Redeemer, but um, I, I'm not entirely sure myself. Okay. I'll keep that in mind, and I appreciate any assistance you've offered me today. You're very welcome, uh, Mr. Calabar. Uh, is there anything else you uh, you wish of me? Any anything I can um, aid you with? Uh, you said you were you're able to um, search for demons and the like, so you must be at least somewhat blessed by uh, Our Lady. I think uh, so, and I guess I. I don't know. If I, I know it's sort of a flavor thing because it's sort of just a flash, but if I can, I would like sacred flame in my hand to say, like, yeah, I can do it. Look. You do have her talent. I see. Well, um, if there is anything I can offer you, an end of a location to pray, a, um, a private quarters if you need them at any point, I'm, I'm quite confident the temple will be able to assist you. Uh,. He looks a little surprised and is like, thank you. I've gotten into Our Lady's graces relatively recently, and I'll be honest, this is sort of one of the first times I've been in one of her temples. Well, um, even if you're only recently in her graces, then it's, it's not a well, being inexperienced in this isn't a bad thing. It's just you're, you're new to it. Mm -hmm. That's all. Everyone um, starts somewhere. Indeed. Um, I, I I began following uh, you know 
that fallen our lady quite a while ago and um she has she was able to be both but um yes I mean, she has aided me both mm -hmm. out of curiosity how connected are there all the temples of Saren Ray? as like, as you contact with each other or as connected as as we can be we will send letters and messengers and occasionally we have a, a particularly talented um follower who can uh magically speak to uh to other other clerics but um typically it's simply letters and messages Cal is going to take a glance behind him. He doesn't see anybody he recognizes, right? From, like, the party or the inn. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no one's... No one's sent me any secret messages, so no. <laughs> yeah, yeah going, like, I actually sent you a message. I'm going to follow Calaron. I'm going Blot, to murder Calaron. Blotless, Blotless has been following him this whole time. <laughs> no, but it's like anyone that he would have seen in the inn in passing, as he would have, you know... Not, not really, no. Okay, cool. Then I guess he will turn to and say, well, I know this is a long shot, but does the name Felix mean anything to you? I'm, I'm afraid no. It doesn't uh, mean very much to me. So it sounds like a simple human name. That's all. He just sort of shrugs, looking a little disappointed. I figured I'd give it a shot, I mean. But thank you, though. And yes, after that, he would start to leave. Okay. So uh, you begin to leave. And um, is there anything else you wish to do? Uh, him specifically? No. Okay. I guess I just go back to the end. Yes. Uh, so uh, you head back to the inn. And let's... Let's rewind a little bit <laughs> to when Avro finally showed back up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How you doing, Jolly, by the way? I'm guessing not yet. Pretty good. Okay, how's it sound? Can you talk? Are, you, are your parents still shouting? No, not anymore, but I'm in sneezing fit right now. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, you sound so You sick. sound terrible. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Jolly, my Jace. heart hurts. Jace is dead. <laughs> it was nice knowing him. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Maddie, if you wish to have a scene with Mercy, Becca, and the gnome who is still sitting at a table drawing the event, uh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a recap of what happened? Uh, okay. Quick summary. Mercy, a while back, tried to prank her boss, uh, and he told her to do better. So, Mercy being Mercy, went, well, I'm only good at one thing, and that's wood carving. So she oh. carved a wooden dick and glued it to his door. And then she started purpling it with a piece of paper they found. What? <laughs> okay. Like okay. <laughs> that's all y'all know. Oh, my <laughs> Dragons God. and dicks, the real name of D&D. No, stop it. <laughs> So, I would I would suppose the first thing we should do is, Maddie, <laughs> you witness Mercy taking out a wooden penis, and it's applying exactly an adhesive small. to the back of it, and gluing it to your boss's door, and then rubs it with, with a piece of paper, and then rubs it with a piece of I'm paper. I'm not gonna that miss all this. I'm doing all my shit. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay. I also want to point out Mercy's humming to herself while she does this. <laughs> Whistle while you work. Uh, Just put I your like lips to together and it. blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you go. Okay, you're killing it. Oh. I'm so proud of myself. God damn. No! <laughs> okay, okay. I would like to talk to Mercy. <laughs> So you get up and you move over to Mercy, who is 
doing this. <laughs> <laughs> um, mercy. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Our hand is on the dick with the paper wrapped around it. <laughs> it but why why did you carve that um it was the most embarrassing thing i could think about having out in public so i carved it <laughs> i'm imagining this is at like like head level on you mercy oh absolutely so it's okay. a little bit above where avro stands yeah <laughs> yeah i thought so what do you expect his reaction would be when he sees this? Honestly, haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> oh. I'll just point out you're here too. <laughs> yeah, no, I dance. Just um, <laughs> Dude's just like this is fine. No, it's not fine. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> She doesn't know what to do with this situation. But she's gonna look at them and go, look, this is what Desna would want. And continues to purple the dick. This is what who would want? Desna. What? what? The goddess of chaos, good and oh. oh. Um, okay. <laughs> look, I'm the not going- goddess of travel, luck, <laughs> and chaos, yes. Yeah. Um, alright. Mercy, I'm not going to stop you. But I'm not going to defend you when he kicks you out of the blue clothes. <laughs> oh, I already have a backup job. What? The guy who sold me the wood glue offered me a job if I get fired. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him the dick and he said it was really good carsmanship and offered me a job. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty accurate, that's for sure. <laughs> I wish I hadn't done it so kind of veiny. It's kind of gross. Gross! <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> I would just like to point out, she did roll really high on those carvings. Yeah, she did. Oh yeah, I, I rolled above 20s. You rolled, you rolled several above 20s. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you rolled all three of them. It was yeah. pretty bad. I think my highest was a 24 and my lowest was a 21. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy's gonna look around the bar and make eye contact with the gnome that's currently drawing the door and go, Sup? Yeah. Uh, having, a, having a nice day. Remind me why I'm so just busy. taking in the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Question: How long have you been in the cloaks? Two years. On a scale of one to ten, how fast should I run? <laughs> you know, I don't know the answer to that. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! No one was dumb enough to try this before. Mm. <laughs> I think he'll be, he'll be fine. <laughs> Seems like he has a sense of humor. Mercy's just gonna go, yeah, and then she's after she's done purpling it, she's just gonna look at her handiwork, put her hands together. <laughs> <and go>. oh, <laughs> <that's cool. laughs> All right, that's it. We won the. All right, well. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> God, been great. She's gonna clap her hands together and go, "This is beautiful. I've never done anything this wonderful. This, this." this I really this hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Yeah! Mercy's gonna turn around and look at there. The only time I've done better is when I put an entire box of scorpions in my boss's old bed. You put scorpions? He put desert centipedes in mine. Well, at Are least. We trying to kill mean. each other? Yeah. <laughs> is that why you left for Grisha? You almost died from scorpions in a box? No, nah, no. Nah. Me and my godfather just have a fun way of showing that we care. Fun, yeah. I, I love it when fathers. You know, show they care by trying to kill the God, children. Godfather. God children. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit at the bar and then continue working on her sound eye carving. Oh. I mean, she's not harming anyone. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that door. Ha <laughs> that... Have you looked at the woodsmanship on that door? That was <laughs> handmade. That's gonna leave a stain. <laughs> no, don't say it like that! <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know, she says it's gonna leave a stain immediately sports. <laughs> Welcome to the dick episode, guy. <laughs> uh, the drawing for this title card is just gonna be a door with a dick on it. No, <laughs> that guy's not Excellent. doing that. 
<laughs> but Mercy's we'll just gonna go back to her wood carving of the Serenoi symbol. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely fine and normal to her. I don't know why y'all are freaking out. Oh my god. <laughs> Dea's just. She's not mad, she's just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy's used to that. <laughs> Have you met her? Yeah. Now. <laughs> Christ. Uh, um, so, <laughs> boy. everyone in the bar is just waiting. <laughs> what do you mean everyone in the bar? It's just like you guys in the know. Yeah, we're just like, waiting. <laughs> Wait, where's Jim? Where is uh, Jim? Jim? He's he is sitting on a table, also watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Jim, and, and, I, like roll sense motive for me, please. <laughs> what? What? Uh, sorry, not. I said sense motive. Pathfinder. Darn it. Should we all? Insight. Should we all? Insight. Yeah. I'm gonna... I apologize. I can really keep making that mistake. Hey, fifteen. Not bad. You you think if what the fuck? Yeah. The you fuck? think if a cat could have a look of if if a cat could look surprised, <laughs> <laughs> he would look surprised. Mussy's gonna look at Jim and go, "What? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing <laughs> just, at all. Just watching." I was say I'm curious. I'm just curious. What's up? <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, Dave, if you're curious, there's very easy ways to find that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I'm just curious to see what happens next. Oh, I'm fully prepared to run. Mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good luck. <laughs> I have a sword. I'm not wearing armor, so he can definitely kick my ass right now. <laughs> I'm sure he will kick your ass anyway. Yeah, at least I have a job lined up. Yeah. I mean, it was nice knowing you guys. Mm. You <laughs> with me. It's kind of nice, I guess. I, <laughs> it was an honor to, to fight beside you in battle. But she's gonna put a hand on her chest. I'm hurt, Dea. I thought mm. we were getting along. And she's yeah. just good. <laughs> Mm, yeah, something I like thought, that. I thought you were getting a dong. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> hey. Damn it, Connor! Oh, no. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> so. Mercy's just, Mercy's just gonna be like, this is not the worst thing I've done, but I think it's the thing I'm most proud of. About 10 to 15 minutes pass. And for a while, no one shows up. Until eventually... Um... <laughs> Until eventually, the door does open up, and you see the, uh, <laughs> you see your boss, Avril Ophir, step in the door, <laughs> quickly look around, Everyone's and begin moving it. over to his office. <laughs> oh, and you watch, watch, watch the table buddy to bolt. And you watch as, as he is moving closer to the door, his expression goes from Something neutral to something a little more resigned. <laughs> <laughs> and the pace he was taking as he was walking towards the office door slows a bit as he gets closer and closer to the door until eventually he's about six inches away from the deck. <laughs> and he just stops and looks at it. Mercy has her hands on the table ready to push herself off the bolt. <laughs> and you like you see as he as he like like he just kinda of looks at it. Kind of like puts his tongue in his cheek like he's, he's thinking. <laughs> and he just takes his cloak off and hangs it up on the dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Is it as a coat look? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mercy without missing a beat is going to go, so I made you a, a uh, hook for your cloak. Oh, no. <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> What's the matter, boss man? You told Does me to do off? better. Oh, sweet. You did. Does it come off? <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> She's just gonna look at him and go, oh, sweet. And shake her head no. Are you gonna shut up and pull off that dick? <laughs> <laughs> Does he actually say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> Mercy's is gonna look at him and go, you told me to do better. You I did. did better. You did. Fuck. <laughs> uh, 
Faye is just sitting back in her chair with her arms crossed and she's got kind of she's like trying to not smile but it's not going very well. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh well you win this round. <laughs> <laughs> this means war. Oh no! Oh, God. Oh. God, it's so good. Mercy goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. If there's war, there's rules. No. What? And he takes out a bag of 50 gold, puts it on the table. No, there are no rules. That's yours. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why did I just get 50 gold for taking my arm? <laughs> because you won that round. Uh, she's gonna look at the bag of gold and go, I hope you're not expecting money every time because I'm not that profitable. Oh, don't worry, I'll take it out of your pay. Oh. <laughs> she's gonna look at him and slowly reach into her pocket and pull out the solvent and put it on the table and go that'll take it off but it's gonna leave a stain mm, I know it will I'm pretty good at carving things if you can't <laughs> good stain I mean if you sand it down take some walnut and rub it against it it'll match the color oh my god <laughs> and around. she's still grinning her won this round. Like, she treats her tail a little bit like a cat's tail, so it's just slowly flicking behind her. Oh my god. Alright. Take the money. I, she already did, it's in her bag. You won the round. <laughs> You're going to lose. <laughs> and I, for one, cannot wait. <laughs> Mercy's <laughs> gonna look at him and go, Oh, I'm not, I might lose, but you know what's going to be really fun? Absolutely just dicking you over. Oh my god. <laughs> Knowing full well what she just said, making eye contact with his door. <laughs> you see his Avro picks up the solvent. Keeps, he has like a half smile, but it's almost like someone's baring their teeth. <laughs> I see he's just staring at you, and he pulls out he pulls out a small black coin and goes, I will get you back from this. And he flips the coin up, catches it, and disappears. Oh my god. <laughs> Mus is gonna go, hands out, like, looking around and go, what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> I just realized, I don't need to be here, I've got other shit to do. Fuck y'all. And she says it jokingly, but then pats Dale on the back and goes, if he comes for me, there are letters in my pocket you need to send out if I die. Okay. And keeps going. <laughs> it was nice knowing you! <laughs> and Mercy's gonna head out, because she's- Mercy's not... on the run now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Mercy has something she planned to do anyways. As Mercy today. rushes off and assembles her hobo bindle. <laughs> nah, she's gonna go look for the magic tattoo parlor. Oh, oh okay. Oh. You just right. can't- She's definitely got enough for something small. Okay, yeah, you certainly- you certainly do. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. We'll we'll continue on with you. So, uh, you're gonna head off and try to find a magic tattoo partner. Yep. This will definitely require a roll because they're not exactly persuasion. Yeah, we'll we'll say persuasion. Thank God. Or intimidation to scare people into telling uh, you. Can I do luck? You absolutely can. Hey, oh, there you go. No right. luck actually worked this time. It worked. I have a plus six. You know, I just have to square a little high. Uh, so, uh, you find, uh, you do look around and eventually, I need to write down this name because I love it. Oh, God. This Connor, is, did you just... do the thing I made fun of you for the other day? No, no, no. I just, I found a name. I, I love it. I'm going to use it later on. I'm so scared about this name. I don't trust you. Sorry guys, I told you something. So, uh, how does, uh, Jolly like this group? Or Maddie? <sighs> I want you to know, if Maddie hadn't witnessed her doing the purpling on the dick, she was gonna hit Maddie with that paper. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you're just, just, a, you're just a monster. <laughs> what do you expect from the person who's one of her two main goddesses is a goddess of chaos? She follows right. two. One of them's a goddess of chaos, the other one's Serenray. Everybody, everybody follows Serenray, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, but 
unlike we the rest of them, Mercy has a bit more reason too, besides Cal. I mean, Cal has a very valid reason, I assume. No. Yeah, uh -oh. sure, let's go with that. He does, he does. <laughs> I mean, he was picked. Also, Connor, did you just forget you were looking up a name? No, I, I, I was just looking up names, like, as we were going, and I came across one. I just, I can't, I can't walk away from it. It's good. <laughs> it's oh really good. I think we're going to use it. Uh, so, uh, you look around, and eventually you do manage to find uh, the magic tattoo shop that someone passed on to you. Uh, it's called the Magic Inquisition. Oh, good boy. Inquisition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the joke. All right. Uh, and as you make your way into uh, the parlor, uh, you see um, a uh, what you what you, what you just best describe as a lanky uh, tiefling man. Um, he's got kind of like dark greenish skin, um, and he has the set of like four horns that sprout up from his head and kind of curve off in odd directions. Um, and you see that he does have. Um, tattoos swirling on his body and uh he is not wearing a shirt so that you can uh, plainly see the uh familiar of uh sorry the the image of what looks like a what looks like a boar just kind of wandering around his chest and living just kind of wandering about kana you know i'm legally obligated to ask if he's hot right he's lanky he's i like, have to ask jill he's not gave me a look. he's not unattractive um, but he is, he is certainly more skinny than muscular. <laughs> you know? Um, like he's... Oh, fuck, okay, fine, I'll roll. I'll roll. <laughs> God damn it. Plus two, because he's a tiefling. <laughs> yeah, plus two. I know I know the stat for a tiefling, God damn it. <laughs> he has two of them in his party. Yeah, I know. And he's played one before. I have. And, yeah. he, and Smoke was not a charismatic boy. <laughs> No, he was not. Oh, oh but he was, a, he was a cute, he was a sweet boy. He was a sweet yeah, boy. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's charming. He's not, he's not, certainly not ugly. Um, you seem to seem more attractive, but he's On a scale of that guard that we saw in our first session. He does not compare. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that good looking. So Compared like to Avro? No, no, no. He's more of a, more of a 14. Out of out of twenty. Uh. <laughs> Avro's what a twenty? Uh Avro's about a about a eighteen seventeen. Okay. Charisma's not his primary skill. It's not his primary skill, but it's eighteen seventeen. I mean it is a second high level rogue. Yeah. For a swashbuckler especially. Uh but uh you walk in and you see uh you see this green skin tiefling man he goes, Hey, Welcome Howdy. to the magic inquisition. magic inquisition. What's your name? Mercy. You? Uh, uh, you can call me Erxes. God, kind of spell that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I fucking hate you. <laughs> can you na, na, na. actually expect it? That's actually how I expected it to be spelled. Yeah, Erxes. me too. Say it one more time so I can try to say it right. Erxes. Erxes. Okay. And she's going to look at me and go, well... I want a tattoo if it's not obvious from the fact I'm here. Well, I figured. <laughs> and she's going to look at him and go, what kind of tattoos can you do here? A lot of them. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for, really. Uh, I can do plain old aesthetic magic tattoos, things that shimmer or change color or do stuff like that. I can make them move. I can make them uh, do certain things on, on command. Um... I can even do stuff like this guy right here. And he points to the boar on his chest that's just kind of meandering around. And it looks at, uh, looks up at Xerxes at, uh, as he points at him. And then just kind of sits on its hindquarters. Looks up and looks at you. Muzzy's going to look at him and go, yeah, I... And she's going to pause and she goes, I used to have one like that. I don't need another one. Well... He said he used to. The good thing about this guy right here, he lives as long as I do. So. Mine probably would have if it went for other reasons. Um, And she's going to look at him and go, do you know anything about how to do spell tattoos? Yep. Those do cost quite a pretty penny. But I can okay. do them. And she's going to look at him and go, there's only two I'm interested in at the moment. Um, right. 
How much would pass without a choice cost? Druidic magic. Uh, let me double check. Uh, pass without a trace. Because I do need to cross this with the table I made. It's a level two spell. Uh huh. I mean, to be fair, I think the other one I have is a level one. <sighs> I was looking at it, I should remember. Yeah, the other one's a level one. Whoever just whistled, please know I. That may be from something. Is it from Zelda? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I did not think of Zelda. I thought of this video of a bird that I watch all the time. That shows that song. Who whistles it, and I love that bird. <laughs> oh. I love that it's a bird that does the whisper. <laughs> I, I want to point out, she says a bird. Like, she doesn't watch a thousand bird videos. I love birds. <laughs> birds are nice. This is very true. My mom is terrified. Uh, yeah, I can definitely do that one. Uh, <laughs> cost about a thousand gold, though. Jesus. Woof! Woof! And then she's going to look at me and go, okay, and what about Shield of Faith? Uh, it's a little better. Uh, it's still pretty expensive. Uh, that one's know. about 500. God damn it. Double I'm so close to that one. And she's going to look at me and go, I'll probably have that the next time I come back into town. Do I need to make an appointment with you? Yep. Uh, I have no fucking idea when I'm going to be back. God damn now, it. Now, with that being said, I got to point out one thing for you. Uh, these tattoos are one sitting. Yeah, I, I know that. So, no, I mean, like, it's going to take however long it takes. Fortunately, you're looking at a first level spell. Well, sorry. He doesn't know that. You're looking at a pretty low, uh, <laughs> a pretty simple spell. So that one's only going to take about four hours. Okay. The better they are, the longer they take. I've had to do 36 hour long spells. <laughs> She's going to look at him and go, how much caffeine did you drink? Or coffee? Um, <clears throat> <there's> no... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I don't uh, remember much of it. <laughs> Oh god, that was a ninth level spell, wasn't it? Jesus. No. No. <laughs> was, no. No, it just they taking a lot longer. Mm. Let's put it this way, if a, four, a first level kill spell cost four hours, it was probably like a fifth level spell. You guys can think <laughs> oh. whatever you want. I'll never I won't tell you until you try to do it. I know. I'll never tell. Okay. And okay. she's just gonna look at me and go, next time I'm back in town I'll hit you up because I need a little bit more. Fair enough. Uh, looking for something simple? Now or no? Not at the moment. Alright. All right. I The tattoos I need are for defense, not for aesthetic. Alright. Well, a couple things you should know. Uh, most spells, some of you use. Use them once per day, and then they kind of, they go inert. At least until the next sun. Sunrise. Um... I can make them do more, but then it gets more expensive. All right. All right. Okay. Just need to make you aware. Need to make you aware of that. Look, I assume with magic, everything's a little fucky. It is, but um, no, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, I'll tentatively put you in. What, a few weeks out? Something yeah, like probably a few weeks. I'm heading okay. down to Pinchall to investigate something. All right, I'll put you out a few weeks. Um, yeah, when you come back, just uh, give me a shout. Uh, typically, I don't, I'm... I don't think you'd be able to hear me if I yelled for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, schedule's typically pretty open. So, yeah, just pop in. We'll do what we can. All right, thank you, good sir. I'm not a sir, but works for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, and she's gonna head out. Yeah, like, I'll point out, Erxes does not really look like a sir. <laughs> to be fair, like, that's just Mercy's way of talking. I know, but like, when you when you look at Erxes, like, he, the guy is covered in tattoos. <laughs> he's like, he's like, dude, like, he's dude. Yeah, he's thin as crack. Like, he's dude. 
Sod it. Give her time, she'll come. No, not that kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sod it. Jill from the distance. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, so, is there anything else you guys wish to do? Uh, I mean, sometime nope. tonight, Mercy wants to talk to Ludi, but that can be on the road. Y'all can do it whenever you want. <laughs> No, I mean, what time is it now? Like Bye. one, one to two o'clock. By the time you guys get back, I think we should just head out. Like, she's just y'all, gonna... y'all did a lot of wandering. Yeah. Um, but... when we all gather, are we all. I guess when we all gather at like one, she's just everyone's. I'm assuming is there. Yes. You... Welcome back from her spirit journey. <laughs> uh, I, guys, I... I found a ferret. <laughs> you guys are uh, not bullying. She said that the ferret, she failed her. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh, perhaps we should just uh, head out. Uh, is we the could dick still there? <laughs> <laughs> it is still there. You have not seen it ever return yet. Oh. Mars is going to look at that and go, What do you think of my handiwork? Wait, it, the cloak's done. not covering it anymore? Uh, it's not purple anymore, but there's clearly a dick on his door. <laughs> Actually. Oh, no. On. There's clearly a dick on a door with a cloak hanging off it. <laughs> Mercy's is going to walk over and just gently take it off to show them and put the cloak back on after they've seen it. Can I roll a straight intelligence check? <laughs> what for? To see if she knows what it is. <laughs> yes, you know what it is. <laughs> what it is. I mean... Yes, you absolutely know what a penis is. <laughs> Listen, she has she ever sheltered. seen one before, though? Has she ever seen one? I mean, you probably saw a drawing in your health book. Like, <laughs> yeah, you've seen human you've anatomy. Probably read so many stories. You've, got, you've about definitely that. gone I, over I, a book on biology. So, yes, okay. you Fair. know what a penis looks like. And you might have seen one in Man, the, the conversations I have to have. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I want to make so sheltered. much fun. Out of context, yes, you've seen a dick before. <laughs> you let me do this. Anyway, you make it anyway. It's not like I'm not going to stop you from doing something. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I just tell. I just. Sh- I just act like the repercussions, and your repercussions are your rogue boss trying to. Pr- <laughs> now. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so excited. Anyway, I think we should. Uh... I think we should. Uh... It's it's not too late, and we can get a head start on the day, and we can make a good amount of travel in the amount of time we have left. I think. Sure, I'm not doing anything. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh no. All right. So I think uh, we're gonna head out. Start heading to Pencha, right? Yep. Uh, you're heading to Pencha. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna point out to you, Cole, mm. when uh. When you said that he gave the okay, I immediately thought of <laughs> this in the Dank Memes channel. Oh no. Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much what he did. Your take. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. God. Oh no, it's derailed the first hour and a half. <laughs> like, he has he seen it and he is impressed. The first hour and a half was spent doing important things. Yes, important right. things. <laughs> now we're actually going to travel, so this yeah. will be good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, Sorry, uh, we're leaving, we're leaving so sane, it's fine. So, there'll be, um, more, there'll be more dicks to carve, don't worry. Since we're just, like, traveling... More during... dicks to come. <laughs> no! I said to carve, damn you. <laughs> I know, that's what I said. Um, I do actually have a question. Um... Connor, I didn't actually ask if it was possible to learn language from another player character. It is. Okay. So, so like, we'll while we're traveling during the day, the um... Yeah, of course. Like, Rudy and Dea can have, like, little language lessons, I guess. Oh, you're doing it like that? Sure. I mean, well, okay. like, because we're traveling, and what else are we going to do hey, on the cart? How how many hours a day do you think you're going to spend doing that? Um... I don't know, Rudy, how many hours a day are we going to do this? I'd say two on each end. Two on each cool. end, so four hours total. Well, two for each person. Exactly. Okay. Um, four hours total. And, like, and we, would, so, we would do it back in town while. as well, but like, sorry, since uh, we're just traveling in a it'll car. It'll take close to a thousand days. Yeah. 
Jesus, okay. Because you're not just doing a session of learning, you're doing it while moving around. So it'll take a long-ass time. (laughs) That's what the cart's for. And, and, (laughs) and like, and, and we'll, we'll do it, like, in town as well, but, again, what else are we gonna use this time for? (laughs) That's true. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It'll take us a long time. It's fine. Yeah. Carla, quit destroying our art. You'll see what I'm drawing in just a second. <gasps> That's oh, so mean. no! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You're not gonna draw them backwards? <laughs> no, god no. <laughs> anyway. He's committed to these scissors now. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys begin taking, uh, begin traveling down, uh, the road from Shazane. And since you're leaving around one to two o'clock, uh, you'd be able to get to around here-ish by the time you probably need to set up camp. Okay. Uh, and I, I will point out, like, it is, uh, as you are traveling down the road, it, it is, you are slowly but surely starting to see, um, evidence of the seasons beginning to change. Uh, the leaves are slowly starting to gain that slight, uh, almost a yellowish tint to them. Like, they, like, it's only just beginning. You see it in several spots, but it's it's dark. Um, and it's while it's still fairly warm, uh, you've got a feeling it's gonna it's gonna start changing soon. At some point, we're gonna have to buy cool, get gear for. Yeah, it may be I mean, wise. The, the rest of you all I mean, I'm all oh, right. I'll you're be... resistant to cold. Cover yeah, the uh, <laughs> cover for the cart probably. Unless he's cold and heat resistant. Woo! And anyway. you have advantage and poison, right? Yeah. And poison. Which is granted one of the least common things. Yeah, but the cold is the more important one. It means it she is. doesn't have to buy winter clothes. So, um, you keep heading on your way. And um Is there anything you guys need to do during uh during travel or no? Uh I would like one small scene with Madeline, but beyond that, no. Alright, go ahead. Yes, at some point, went around watch together, where nothing's happening, apparently. <laughs> um, thank you for the other day, Madeline, for picking me back, back up in that fight against the undead fire thing. Oh, right. Undead fire thing. That is we, he wouldn't know it's named a Revenant. <laughs> Fair enough. He has an intelligence of eight, Connor. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I can't argue this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I, I'm pretty sure without Gail's help, I wouldn't be alive right now. So you should be thanking him for that. I will. Uh, you are the one who picked me up. But for what it's worth, I'm grateful that you two joined. If you do that, and we probably all would have been dead. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so oh. relieved. And you're still sure about your decision to join us since you did your first mission, you sort of went down twice. Well, it's a first experience. But, you know, I have to learn from that, right? Cal <laughs> just laughs and is like <laughs> I admire your optimism. <laughs> And I guess then, unless you have anything to say, he just sort of quiet down and just reflect over things. <laughs> and companionable. And yeah, just companionable silence. Unless she wants to say something. It's, it's oh. completely, that's completely up to you, Jolly. Uh, basically, uh, for talking in character, you just kind of do it. Really, like, that's it. You just kind of go for it. I was gonna ask um what Cal's favorite food was. Oh um, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um Crab. <laughs> um She wouldn't get that. <laughs> um Back when I was little and living in Confucia, there was this one fish dish that my mom used to make. 
and I guess it's just some fun fish thing. I don't know. I don't know food, <laughs> especially seafood, because Cole, I don't like it. But Cal does. That's because you're a little bitch. Yep. <laughs> and? Oh, uh, that was it. Yeah, anyway, he just describes it. I don't know. It's some fun. Basically, you, rice. you could say it's basically some kind of a, a seafood pasta, essentially. Sure. Seafood pasta, and I describe it. It's seasoned. It's, it's seasoned. It tastes good. And yeah, that's my favorite food. What about you? Yay. What's yours? Um. Well, I do like baguette. Mostly bread. But from what I heard, that sounds like seafood. Yeah, I was asking what your favorite food my was. My favorite seafood, or just or just in general. Just in general. Um. Well, I do like. The food that my father called, which is ironically, Madeline's. Hmm. Well, it's Madeline. <laughs> it's like a little cookie shell biscuit thing. It's yellow, obviously. Maybe it's. Jolly, I'm going to point out to you. You're not just pointing this out to. Uh, Caloron, the half elf that doesn't know about food at all. <laughs> You're teaching this to Cole, the Mormon who doesn't know about food at all. <laughs> I know about food, but also only that, only that. But oh, they... what's a Madeline? Wait, I I don't know. Okay, okay. there we also, go. To be fair, <laughs> Cal has spent most of his life on a ship where the food there is not exactly interesting or exciting. So he I will say know. this: it's kind of funny that's her favorite food, considering it's shaped like a shell, isn't it? Yes. Yes. That's, what, that's what most of the pictures that I see is. They are, they are yeah. shell shaped. Oh. Like, like a like a oyster shell. Not oyster. Okay. Clam. Well, clam. Oh. A little closer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oysters are pretty ugly. No, oysters are completely different, yes. Yes. Our yeah. entire party's intelligence modifier is just <laughs> Team so Delicious. Yeah. In game oh. or out of game? Yeah. Out of game. Both. 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 I've had I've had. Okay. I'll have to try one at some point. Of they course. sound good. When we have time to get food. Cool. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I think we're done here. Yeah. This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. It's, it's like it was it was cute, but goddamn. <laughs> Cal, Cal doesn't know how to make friends. Like I know. Friends. That's because he's a piece of shit. It's because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but she doesn't know that. Speaking yet. of the piece of shit, first uh, first night where you go to sleep, Cal, I need you to go into Whispers. Um, <gasps> yes! Oh. Hi. Hello. Here. Uh, real quick, when I'm he gets back. I'm gonna fuck him up! <laughs> <laughs> Get the shit beat out of him by soon, right? I love that, that voice when he said it. Let's go. It wasn't happening. Uh, Cal uh, isn't a good person, and Sanoi is literally the embodiment of good. So when you decide to follow her and use her power, if you're not a good person, the repercussions. Yeah. yeah. Caloron likes to lie about a lot. Like, a and lot. she's literally the goddess of honesty. Repercussion! And oh, Connor sorry. has warned him. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, after we've traveled for another day, Mercy's gonna stop and talk to you. Uh, request to watch with the Woody. Okay. So that well, way she's had a couple. I know. I'm just telling yeah. you. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. We'll do that when they get back. Get ready and get those conversation topics going so <laughs> there's no lapses. <laughs> I already know what Mercy wants to talk to her, so it's okay. God I mean, damn it, I got something on my blanket. What did you get on your new blanket already? I don't know. It's so oh. soft. How could you? <laughs> so what is everyone doing for New Year's? Nothing. I'm going to be at Jill's house and we're going to go make a midnight run for fast food. That's a good plan. Yeah. That's okay. what we always do. I'm going to play Spider-Man. I'm going to play Stardew Valley and continue making it the most aesthetically pleasing farm I can. God, Spider-Man is so fun. It is. I might I'm try to watch a movie online with, with some friends. But... Or... I'm going to a friend's house. It's going to be like five of us. <laughs> We're gonna, it, like, I mean, up until shit. like New Year's actually passes, there's a chance that I'll get a random text from a friend and being like, oh, hey, 
I realized I didn't have any New Year's Eve plans, so I'm throwing a party. You're invited. So, like, I'm. Either that'll happen or it won't. <laughs> also, I'm still really mad about Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. I, I was gonna go to a. Like, the games. One of the games I was doing a New Year's, Year's Eve party, party yeah. but, like. I'm like, there's gonna be too many people there. I don't wanna deal with that. Five people was fine. It was Salt and Ink, I think. The... Okay. Yeah. No, the one I read that was sounds called like way Inquisition. Too much. Oh, you made me read a different one about a tattoo artist. <laughs> Listen, I have a lot of Dragon Age uh, tattoo on. artist AUs pics that I've read, so when Connor said Ink Inquisition, <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, I've read that fic. Give me a second, my favorite. I've read that fic. <laughs> oh god damn it, it logged me out. Give me a second. Yeah, they did maintenance. They were down for like three hours. I haven't read anything in the past two days. I was busy oh. making my farm beautiful. That sounds like a you problem. It is a me problem. I've literally spent I spent yesterday and today just flying around. After I finished the first mission, like the point before it becomes open box sandbox, where you can just like fly around. All so right, I did all I, that. I got all the backpacks before I did any missions. I got uh, like ninety eight percent of the crimes done. I am flying through it. I've only done like three story missions. Yeah, maybe. I'm doing the same thing. I've done a side mission. Oh, that's my mm -hmm. history, not my favorites. And then I've been—I haven't done anything. Like I haven't done the thing where you have to chase the guy because I hate anything chasing. So like all the car stuff, I'm like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna I, chase. The car, the car chases aren't too bad once you catch up with the car. And also the electro uh, uh, chase, not bad at all. Okay. Well, I still want to. I'm still gonna do like, backpacks and Cause if, I still if, have to descramble some of the satellites and stuff. So if you've I'm been swing, on. if you've been swinging around a lot, you'll have an easy time with it because. Really just swinging really fast. Yeah, I've been mostly just swinging around I'm collecting going. backpacks and oh. shit. <clears throat> it was flower ink and salt. Yes, that was the other. That was the other Dragon, Dragon Age, Age tattoo one. Tattoo a because <laughs> Cullen was a baker. It's good shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the other stuff in it is uh, my other stuff is Brienne of Tarth and Jamie Lannister selling cupcakes <laughs> or being lawyers. Fuck yeah. And the other Why one is are so funny to me, like. The other one is, um, reveal fic, Marinette, Adria, and stuff. <sighs> Have you seen, uh, did you see I the haven't... rest of season two of- No, I was gonna do it this week. It's cool. Cole I know I did it in two happened. settings. <laughs> Has anyone watched Bandersnatch? No, I need no. to No, I've heard about it, though. Uh, so I'm not excited for the first choice. Uh, I heard there's a, there's, there's one that's, like, really funny, and it's, like, very meta. At some point, oh, like, all I know, it. all I know is there's an ending in it called the Pearl ending that made people lose their goddamn mind, and I'm scared. Oh, I know exactly what ending that is. Actually, I don't. What are you I'm talking about? It Bandersnatch. It's, it's a, the Black a Black Mirror, choose your own adventure uh, uh, movie. Oh, people were mentioned that. I didn't know what it. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's like it. a choose your own adventure about a guy making a choose your own <laughs> game. <laughs> Have they been gone a while? Yeah. Yeah. They've been okay. gone about he, like five, five, ten. Oh, the back. Back. I, oh, I mentioned that? they've been gone a while. And they come uh, by the way, then, uh, Jess, I need to check something with you. Oh, God. Oh, when bye. you go to sleep, uh, in game, of course. Yeah. Uh, right now, take a nap. Go fuck you, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you're wearing medium armor, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. It's whichever one gives you 16 automatically. That's chainmail, I think. I think that's chainmail. Uh, it is... Heavy. It's chainmail. Yeah, okay. 55 uh, pounds. Alright, I'm just gonna point this out to you right now. You should not be sleeping in that. Oh, yeah, I know. Period. Anybody who wears medium or heavy armor, you guys should not be sleeping in that in the middle of the night, because if you are, you should be taking points of exhaustion. I assume she took it off every night. That's... That's basically my ruling for sleeping in armor because I think that's like generally like well it's it's generally what people do because there aren't rules for it in, in the actual game. Yeah. Yeah. But also, it's not easy to sleep in either of those because it's like sleeping in fucking hockey pads. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's made of metal. metal. It's, it's surprisingly in... easy to do. Can confirm. Yeah. Chase. The sleep, sleeping in hockey pads. Yep. 
Okay, sweetie. All right. You have now. a lot of interesting stories, don't you? I really do. <laughs> I've lived an interesting life. It just tells me that he played hockey and was dead tired one day. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. I found out the story, guys. I'm so proud of you, Connor. Hey, I'm good you at it. I'm good at what I do. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, uh, qu question. No. What? <laughs> Um, would they, I don't want to be, like, metagaming, but would they notice anything different from her brother? No. Okay. I mean, if and... she wants to, I would let her roll an insight check to see You absolutely how. can. Go wild. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing so good on that before. Hey, you have advantage. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. See this one? Uh, but I'll... Physically, he's fine. Yeah, I also said he seems a bit surprised when he wakes up in the morning. Okay. She doesn't really think anything of that. <laughs> so, on the second day of travel, Mercy wants to request a watch with Ludi. Cool, cool, cool. And she's just gonna sit there, kind of carving to herself for a minute, because that's what she's been doing every night they've been traveling during her watch. Working on that Saranoi thing. Roll. I know. Uh, it's still Dex, right? Absolutely. It's not horrible. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Um, and she's gonna just kind of quietly go, So, Rudy. Yes, Mercy. Can I ask you something kind of... I've been told it would be considered intrusive. Yes, you can. I trust you, so... You insist on being called a Rudy, right? I do. Well, I just feel... I was, uh... It just feels more personable than erudite. Uh, and she's gonna stop and kind of pause for a second in her carving go. Is the reason you don't like erudite is because it's kind of a tiefling thing to go by virtue names? No, no, not at all. Okay, it's just actually I do I do like the name erudite. Uh, as it turns out, my mentor gave it to me when I was very young. Yeah, I read that on that page you showed us. So, I I just wanted to check because you don't really like being a tiefling. You you don't really shy about that. I'm. It's complicated. Yeah, it's, that... it's, it's, in my situation, I mean, I'm in my situation because my parents, I assume, thought it was shameful. I was told that it was shameful, or they thought it was shameful to have a tiefling for a daughter, which is why I'm not with them. I don't even know who they are. That's not necessarily a bad thing. If they didn't want to know who you are, they're not worthy of knowing you. Trust me, parents aren't all they're cracked up to be. And she's going to take a minute and just kind of think before speaking up and going, parents can be the shittiest people in the goddamn world and you wish they were dead, but you're too much of a coward to do anything about it. And was then that... you're just stuck knowing that they're still alive out there somewhere. Was that your situation, Mercy? My godfather's a good man. Bit odd, albeit. Uh, his line of work isn't exactly the most savory for most you're people. You're just like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, but my father wasn't exactly what I'd call a good person. And I fear every goddamn minute I know that bastard's alive. And she's not making eye contact. She's just staring down at her carving, focused on that. Rudy's very intently looking at you, like very, very intently. Like, and why? What did he do that would? 
Mercy's immediately going to change the subject because she doesn't want to keep going down this. Um, Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Not enough say? friendship nope. points. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Mercy's going to look at it and go, How about that weather? <laughs> no, she's going to look at it and go, So you like your virtue name, don't you? I do. Would you have picked a different one? I don't think I Wrath. <laughs> it's just evil. It's just evil. Like the name is just evil. You just go by evil. Death. <laughs> Death. Satan. Shut the. <laughs> Cal, shut up. Oh. <laughs> Mousy's just gonna look at it and go. I. Man, she's gonna look down back at her carving and go. It took me a while to pick Mousy. I. When I left, I. Ro knows this. No one else here does. I, I I took a different name. Mercy's a name I picked. I it took me months to figure out what name I wanted to take. I was just wondering if you had a choice, would you change yours? I think erudite fits. Yeah. I do know the name my parents gave, as you told me. But... Oh. <laughs> I feel like I've already <laughs> God damn you, Michelle. Uh, your, your parents' name was never told to you. I, no, we discussed this. Yeah, no, I did. It was never Yes, told. and I told you. I'm going to fight you later. Um, <laughs> actually, I told you this and you said okay. Let you said okay. Yeah, you did. Go back. Fight, fight, fight. I will, I will fight you because I, I actually gave you an A. Yeah, I was wrong. No, I should oh, not. No. Let you oh, no, that's that. not fair, dude. I should not have let you do that. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Oh, my God. You're a jerk. Okay. I am. <laughs> yes, he is. This is not news. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'll own it completely. I fucked up. You I should not have let you done that. Yeah, that's. You're a jerk, but okay. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> Guys, I really love the Discord. <laughs> Clam? 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 But Mercy's gonna just kind of look back anyway, at her car and go. Anyway, retract what I just said because yeah, apparently I, it, I apologize. I made it, I made a big mistake with that one. I feel like ever it doesn't matter though. It's fine. Uh, retract what I just said because apparently it's not real. Nope. I lied. Uh, I mean, she's just like it's the only name I've ever. No, so no, I wouldn't change it. Moses is gonna kind of laugh and go, "I've had three, but you know, each one oh. hasn't. The other two haven't fit yet. Hoping, hoping this one does." What was the name before? Red. Just red. Ah, uh, I'm trying to remember if she was there when he called her red. Nope. No one was. was. No one was she, right. Okay. She's she's just gonna kind of look at it and go. A few people have tried to call me that since, you know, the bright red fucking hair does that for people. It. I didn't like who I was when I was red. I'm Mercy, Mercy now. Mercy fits, I think, from what I, I see. I hope. We haven't really gotten a lot of chances of being merciful yet. I mean, we've killed crabs. We've killed cultists. We've killed, what? killed, killed. I, I feel, I feel like. Maybe killing them was giving them a little bit of me. <laughs> I was just gonna kind of snort at that and go, eh, probably. It's never tend to end well. No. You end up getting sacrificed to some diabolical force. I've read about that. Cults are fun. Except they aren't, and you wish that they didn't exist because somebody's gonna die. Sounds like you have a lot of experience. Have you ever been to Pagu Oh, no, you haven't. You've only been to Odella. No, I've never been off the continent. Yeah. Really, I've never been outside of Failcrest until I met you all. The few times I've had to deal with the cultists in the north has uh, ended badly, let's say. And Mosey's Maybe... just going to kind of smile at her and go back to her carving. Maybe one day you'll feel comfortable enough to tell me. Maybe. Yeah, well. Or maybe one day I won't have a choice. <laughs> our choices see, aren't always ours. I think after we finish this, 
I think I'd like to go to the Upper Esby or something. That works for me. I'm happy to follow, as long as I'm helping. I think I'd rather- I'd, I'd want to see if maybe- if... Those classes are there? Maybe. It's possible. You'll be shocked what you find when you take a look at something with fresh eyes. Yes, 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 I would. Alright, that's it. Yeah, I'm good. Gotcha. Uh, so, that would have been the second day of travel. I suppose I should probably make you guys do checks, but it's not a real big deal. So. Because I want to roll tonight at least once. <laughs> you absolutely can if you so choose. But uh, I've rolled. I've already rolled a couple times, so. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, you certainly did. <laughs> you, you chaos being. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's fine. God, I'm like, Connor, you let me. I did. I, I even I really told you did. beforehand what my plans were. Oh, I know. You know. I, I did. I really did. <laughs> so, right. so how many days does it take us? It would take about... Let me see. One, two, three. And... Yeah, by about mid afternoon on the four, on the uh, fourth day, you would be made, you would be arriving in the town of Penshaw. Uh, and I will say, as you guys are heading down uh, towards down this road leading towards the village of Penshaw, uh, you see that the uh, the trees and forests begin uh, to become a lot closer to the road itself, um, tightening quite a bit. There's still enough room for your cart, but uh, you feel like if you had to pass another cart or another group of people that was big enough, it'd be pretty tough to try and get past it without scraping into the trees at least a little bit. Uh, but uh, as you begin making your way towards the uh, towards the town, uh, you eventually uh, do see um, uh, what you believe to be Penshaw, uh, a well-made and well-guarded uh, wall uh makes up the perimeter of the town itself. In the distance, you can see a very large tower uh, with several uh, other buildings sprouting around it uh, further off in the distance. And uh, you see that the gate is guarded by a few men, but the gate is open. We go through it. I would assume so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounded I mean, like you were waiting for us to do something. So no, no, no. It's... We do it. Just waiting a bit because I don't know how some of you are going to act. I mean, Moses is going to nod as they go in. That's about and it. As you as you nod, the the guards look at you, and you see one of them does take out a notepad and writes, starts writing stuff down. But they allow you to pass without any interruptions. Yeah, they just greetings and salutations, friends. <laughs> they just I, like I holds her head high, and, you know, back. Whatever. Sorry, Becca. Uh, oh, she just. They yeah, just like hold her head high and towards the front of the group. Gotcha. You do so. Oh, is asleep in the cart. <laughs> I, would assume, I would assume so. <laughs> it's a pretty common thing. Uh, but uh, making your way into the town of Penshaw, you do see that. Oh no! <laughs> Stop it! Don't do this. What? I'm talking about the Discord. You guys are messing with Kate again. Oh no. Uh, so, uh, making your way to the town of Penshaw, you do see that uh, it opens up into a small uh, town square area where in the center there is a, uh, a large fountain uh, adorned with a few statues that are uh, standing there. Um, and there are several other large buildings. You see off in the distance there is a uh, extravagant, well, uh, well adorned shop with a sign on the front of it that says uh, that depicts a silvered uh, little vial, like when you'd hold the potion, like you'd want to hold the potions in, that is labeled the silver vial. Uh, there's a large building you would assume to be uh, some kind of a mayor or governor's building. Um, and there are a few inns located as well. Where would you like to go? Do we know the inn that Togged had stayed in? Yes, that you is... said we would have all have read the file. Yes, 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 yes. And 
allow me to go into detail on the on the file because I wanted to do it last session and shenanigans. Yeah, we kind of kind of totally forgot about that one, didn't we? I don't know what any of you are talking about. Um, Fine. I mean, we we talked to uh, Mer- the sheriff Mercy about it a little bit, but yeah. You did, you did, and he gave you a little bit of information, basically, uh, to give you a full rundown. Uh, one. A changeling uh, associated with the Blue Cloaks 10 years ago was tasked with the job of going to the location of Fort Oakart, uh, Fort Oakart and clearing out an infestation of what appeared to be some kind of demonic creatures, as reported in the, uh, in the, in the notes. Demonic uh, creatures? Demonic creatures. That is what is what was listed to the Blue Cloaks. That's what they were told. Okay. Okay. And I unfortunately... Yes. If I would have known that, I would have gotten holy water. I I could allow you to do so. <laughs> like, yeah, I would it's like ho- to it's holy water. It's not like, you know, it's not a gun. I don't yeah, care no, no, no. It's or, like, not a gun. Okay. Good, I am. If I were to barter for it, how much could I get two things of holy water for? Two what, things of holy water? Mm-hmm. Double check the pricing. I believe it's something like... I want to say it's like 20, 25 gold. Like 20 or 25 gold, something like that? But I would barter. I figured you would. Uh, just roll me a a a, 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 a persuasion check to see if you manage to convince them at all. Damn. I I Ooh. And roll 20, 25, 25, God damn. I think I did. God damn. <laughs> uh, let's see. Goods and services. Turn on them with those pretty brown eyes. Uh, yeah, it's about 25 gold for a single flask. Uh, you'd be able to buy two for 25. Two for 25? <sighs> yeah. You rolled a 25 on Persuasion, I can't really fight it that off that much. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So, for 25, I got two things of holy water. You basically gotta buy one kill for free. Cool, thank you. Okay. Uh, but, I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with that because I spaced it. I forgot to go over that detail. Uh, Same, but, fine. there was a report of some kind of demonic presence near the Fort Rokart uh, that needed to be dealt with. Talk was sent out. Um... According to the extra notes that are from later on when Avaro and other people were actually looking into it, um, he was staying in the Pathetic Hazelnut Pub. I'm sorry, um, what? The what? The Pathetic Hazelnut. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I thought you it. said. I love it. Thank you for that. It's pretty easy to spell. Yeah. Uh, yeah I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I should spell everything for you guys now. That's fair. I mean, also Valid. fair. I can't spell to uh, save my life, so... He was staying there at the Pathetic Hazelnut Pub. He was present there for... Uh, he actually spent the night there about for about five days. He was missing from the town uh, for about three, when one would assume he was at the location of Fort Oakhart. Um, and then he returned. Uh, and then he spent the remainder of the five days. It's only about two. Where, and on the last one, he disappeared. Uh, left in his room was the room key, a bag of his stuff, uh, and that was about it. Inside of the bag were his rations. Um, they were uh, there were a few extra knives, small pointy things, you know. Um, some rope, some crowbar, some hammers, uh, a miner's pick, uh, and that was about all note. Um, Avro notes in the later investigations that he did carry some type of a journal with him that was missing. Uh, there were no maps left behind, so those were missing. Uh, and his personal effects and weaponry were also missing. That's a giant bug. God damn. What is with y'all and bugs today? Fucking bugs are in my room. I hate it. Joe found a centipede. You found a giant bug. Yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back I hallucinated a giant spider this morning. <laughs> Damn, y'all are insane. Joe, are you dead? That was a terrifying way to wake up. Right. I know. I assumed you were tired because you weren't being very tough. Well, she said she did warn us ahead of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What time is It's six o'clock. Bitch. It's six o'clock. <laughs> she did warn us ahead of time. We'll be ending in like an hour. How the fuck did you fuck up your sleeping schedule that much? I don't know. And I... <laughs> Goodness. I'm gonna be fucked. I stay up till I stayed up till four yesterday. I'm just gonna be sitting in your room. Yep. Is that for you? 
I could just go home. Good. Ugh. I guess it's quite just gross. Please. Yeah, because you'll be asleep! Nasty goddamn God, things. You goddamn heathen. Okay. Sorry, what? Have you taken care of the bug? Yeah, I took care of the bug. I apologize for that. <laughs> Got it. I, yeah. I hate insects. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> making fun of my bug. Um. Chill? Yeah. Fucking insect. Yes. <laughs> You're curled up like a. Oh. Anyway. Uh, uh, did I miss anything? Oh, all right. Anyway, uh, uh, I have a couple was... questions since I was dealing with money. Go ahead. Uh, so he left Too behind late. a journal. No, yes, he, or... the journal was missing. Yeah. Okay, I'm journal sorry. Was... Journal was I'm missing. His map was missing. The... Shush. Yeah, uh -huh, you're Shush. Be quiet. Kate. Shh. <laughs> Damn, okay. get lost. Uh, <laughs> he. Uh, what was taken and not present were his journal, maps, any of his personal effects, things that he was constantly <laughs> carrying with him. You know, his armor, his weapons, his magical equipment. Mm -hmm. Um. And his money as well. All of that. So, so essentially, so essentially, I mean, she, I guess, would be like, "This is a guy who ran. This isn't a guy who, uh, this is not a guy who, uh, like, was taken. Seems more like a guy who ran." Whatever, Wouldn't like, a guy who whatever run take his shit? <laughs> no, not if you're like in a freaking hurry. You run with whatever's on you, and maybe that was what was on him. Oh, anyway, anyway, Dare has the suggestion said, of staying in the inn he had been staying at. So, if anyone else has any no, arguments against that? She's just gonna lead forces, you know, lead the party over there. I mean, Bussy kind of zoned out. She's busy looking at the silver vial. And go what? We're going to stay at the pathetic hazelnut pup. Um, <laughs> Yay! <all right>. Yeah. <laughs> and she's gonna look back at that the silver file and go, I don't trust that place. Okay, it's well, too too clever of a name. Okay, we can check Speaking it out. Speaking of later. names, why would a Arizona be pathetic? They I don't know, Gail. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. Why understand. would a hazelnut be pathetic? They're very good. <laughs> I I find them very tasty. Oh my god. <laughs> These, this is the conversation we're having. <laughs> yes, because you call it a hazelnut is. pathetic. It doesn't matter what the hazelnut, the hazelnut doesn't exist. I, I will point out, the sign to the pathetic hazelnut is actually a depiction of a, a hazelnut that is kind of like drooping down at the sides, oh, like it's sad. Oh. What did a hazelnut Does it have a franny face that? drawn on it? No, it doesn't. Oh. Mercy, would you be able to carve them a new sign? I feel as though this one is beginning to fail them. I would, but that's painted. Oh. And I can't paint to save my life. That is awful. I could make you a more happy one so you can always remember that one instead of this one. I would love that. That would be <laughs> oh amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. As soon as I'm done carving my sign or anything, I'll work on your sign. Oh, please take your time. I'm in no rush. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're going into the pub. Okay. <laughs> or at least Dan. This is happening in the background. <laughs> If anyone wants to follow, you can. Stop it. No, we're not renaming the fucking pub. <laughs> that sucks. The routine Listen, is we, we're, uh, we're trying to take over two pubs now. <laughs> this is going to be the third. <laughs> no. uh, this, is, this is all happening as Gail's like walking up to the door with everybody else. He's just making oh, yeah. a comment on it. Uh, Absolutely. And Mercy's already thinking about how to re-carve re that sign. Making Dude, plans just, do a, just carve a hazelnut with a little happy Face. Use your wood glue. Stick it on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not vandalizing. I'm not low. Vandalism, you're proving it. Anyway. So we're going inside. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> you make your way inside of the pathetic hazelnut. Uh, which everybody <laughs> hates, apparently. I love it. It's I such think a it's weird delightful. name. <laughs> Gail's oh. just confused. <laughs> just I love it. it. I love, I love, I love like the it. hate and confusion. <laughs> I love it. I think it's delightful. Uh, and inside, you find a fairly well-adorned location, uh, well-kept and well-cleaned. Uh, behind the desk, uh, sorry, behind the bar, uh, you see a dark-skinned man with hair slicked back, um, uh, with very stern, uh, a very stern set of a uh, set of features. Uh, he looks at you all, kind of looks all of you, and goes, "Hello." 
Howdy. How may I help you all? Greetings and Hello. salutations, friends. We, we, would we like... have a really weird request for you. We do? Yes. Are you the owner, by chance? Yes, I am, I am the owner. My name is Dwight. Um, by Can chance, you that, here ten years ago. <laughs> okay. uh, literally spelled that perfectly. Well done. It's like I've done this before. You get it's like you it's get like you get plus one DM points. <laughs> oh, okay. It'll be useful for when you're deeming Vampire of the Masquerade. Yep. Anyway. You may only deem it at that point. Uh, yes, I'm. I am the owner. And. Were you the owner of this establishment ten years ago? Yes, I had the location built. Uh, uh, what I, yes. Uh, okay. Well, the reason why I ask is we're with the Blue Cloaks and we're trying to investigate a missing member of our guild who came through here around ten years ago. Oh. I can't imagine. We're just jumping straight to it, huh? All right. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I know of what, what you're talking about, but I, I do not know much else on the matter. What? Um, he was helping the people at Fort Oakheart, right? Yes. Do you know what he was helping them with? Uh, some, some kind of a uh, infestation. Uh, of a problem. Of what? An infestation of what and where exactly? Uh, he he wasn't very willing to tell me about uh, such such things. Apparently, I, he was just told there was a problem and was told to go deal with it. I I was never informed. I see. Uh, I, I I I I spoke to the the, the elven man. Uh, Ever. Some time ago about this. Yes. Uh, I, I, there wasn't much else I could I could think of on uh, the uh, uh, talked. I think that was his name. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything I can attempt to uh, assist you with? Uh, actually, can I insight check him to make sure? Yes. He is like no. Being <laughs> He's honest the voice. Oh my god. Listen, it's his character. No, I know. I just don't want to know that he keeps a voice. It's funny to me. It's tough to get back into it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I, to be fair, uh, though, I rolled a three on that, so it's not bad for a three. A three. Um, he's he's being honest so far. He seems nervous, partially because the disappearance that was ten years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, and it made me more trouble for him. <laughs> Because he's running an establishment, and you, mm -hmm. he doesn't want shit to come to him for some reason. So, he seems nervous because you guys are, in a way, figures of authority. But that's about it. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah, we, we are. Um, we would also... Uh, well, I guess we can finish questions before we get rooms, but... Um, do you know who uh, runs the fort? Like, who... Uh, who we would be able to talk to over there about this? Uh, yes. Uh, it, it is a um, uh, elf. Uh, a uh, a uh, uh, oh gosh, uh, Lieutenant um, Gear. Gear? Uh, no, that's not right. It starts with a G. Look, look for the man with the gaudy plate armor. He's oh, easy to notice. Thank you. He's got Cody plate armor. What, what's, what's the problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> now you got me worried. <laughs> it's just Cody plate armor screams in my head. Terry and Darrington. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not, not, it's not Terry and Darrington. I'm Terry and Darrington. It's fine. Anyway, um... Yes, uh, well, I don't know if any of my companions have any more questions at the moment. Do you gonna remember look what room he was sleeping in? That's a good one. Uh, yes, he was sleeping in the uh, third room on the right. Is that uh, room available? Currently, yes, we still have uh, four rooms available, and that is one of them. 
Oh, we would like to have rooms, and if possible, that one. Um, how uh, many? How many do we need? Uh, all we of eight, them. Eight, eight <laughs> two four. rooms are fine. <laughs> so two rooms would be okay. I can sleep on the floor in one of them. I I'll, I'll point out you are you are crouching. Oh yeah, no, he, he's like at this to talk to him. He took he takes the knee every time he goes to talk to somebody. The, just spi- the forest spirit is here inside the inn. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> No one make any sudden movements. <laughs> I uh, could sleep on the floor in, in this room in case there is something that would show back up. Well, it sounds After like the ten problem. Years? I, I would, I would here. prefer that you not. Uh, I, oh, there are, there are, that is fine as well. Uh, there are still four rooms there. there five silver per night. That's, that's all. Um, so that that is it. Um, I, I apologize. We we cannot uh, house um, all of, all of you. Um, you, uh, Mister. Uh, My name is Gail. Oh, uh, Gail. Uh, you you may uh, find it a little bit uh, uncomfortable uh, in in the. In Gail, the you're too big. <laughs> Yes, I understand. That, that, is, that is what I, I was. <laughs> In uh, that I'm case, if you don't mind, I can I, I can either find a tree outside or, or sleep near the building, well, so I'm near my friends. You you can you I, I I'm sure you can still get in into the room. It's just I don't know if the bed will be uh, large enough. To... Oh, I I always assume that the beds are not large enough. Have no fear. I I I am doing my best not to break any of your furniture. Good sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, if you have any other questions, I, I can attempt to uh, answer them for you. But uh, Mister Talked was uh, fairly uh, guarded on what he was uh, doing. Uh, he didn't did not tell me very much. He just told me that uh, he found. Uh, uh, he did not tell me. He boasted that uh, he found some interesting stuff in the cave and uh, you don't say <laughs> a lot of I feel like a lot of shouting um, and yelling uh, and I make like a perception I, check or something I to want see to insight is top. <laughs> Uh, I, it would be it would be <laughs> from America, actually let me look up the changeling rules because I should yeah. probably have this like is it perception investigation insight uh there's there's a, an official ruling for how uh you roll against their uh, yeah it's in their uh, character it is that's what i'm looking at right now now shush i would uh, love it if the first fucking person we talked <laughs> to <laughs> like, so it, it is it is i i am done <laughs> hello well where the uh, fuck you been dude <laughs> i've been looking for you uh it's not really there really isn't a roll against it but I'm gonna I'm gonna check one other thing and attempt to use that. But uh, you can roll. Fuck! Come on, hurry roll up, sheep! Roll, 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 roll! <laughs> uh, it's a roll eat. Yeah, eat. Inside. Uh, it's, it's, it's oh, really investigation. Good. Investigation. Oh. Sorry, dude. Because, because you're trying to look at small features and go, does that look right? Who? Who knows? Maybe I'll net twenty. <laughs> no, you will not. <laughs> that certainly looks like a dark skinned man. Reminds cool. you of home. <laughs> yeah. um, um, can I roll? Can I, like I, a... Well, Dea De- wants to do an insight check on, like, if that's all he knows. You may do so. Oops. I mean, the first one. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That, 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 that is basically all he can think of. Uh, it's been ten years. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, we I will... do have one more question. Uh, yes. Has anyone else gone missing since then in this area? Uh... Very suddenly, in this, you know, in a similar way. Yeah. Uh... Do you know what like this threat was that he came to investigate? No, he doesn't. No, not at all. Uh, and what time is that. it now, by the way? It's not. Sorry. <laughs> Is night okay? Um, I, I, I think a few children went missing at one point, but they they were found. Uh, they just they went wandering off into the woods and get lost. I, 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 
I, I cannot think of anything of, of that, of this sort. Um, can I, can I roll, like, uh, I mean, like what changelings are, but can I roll... Jess, I'm gonna break your fingers. Well, I... I can't read the mouth or I'd do it for you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was can just I, doing that while I was... Can I roll, like, something that would, like, if I, like, know how to tell a changeling is, like, a changeling? Uh, no. <laughs> there's, there's, I, like, you certainly could roll a knowledge. I believe it's nature. There's, it's still, it's still nature because they are humanoid. So you can roll knowledge, knowledge oh, nature. Okay. But... I mean, I'm sure the DC. I mean, Maybe you'll not twenty it. There you did it too. Uh, there isn't. They're just okay. You look, you look for small features that look wrong. That look wrong. Okay, that's fine. So I can do investigation on. It, okay. It's basically that's that's what you look for no matter what. An investigation check. Uh, yeah, it'd be an investigation it'd be check to try okay. and say, is well, this good. person who they actually claim to be? It'd be the same thing for like at this guy's self, because yeah. you'd be oh, looking at them sense. closely and going, does this look right? Well, at least, mm -hmm. at least uh, investigation is something I'm good. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I, uh, but uh, if you uh, wish to have a room, I can. Uh, give them to you uh, for uh, five silver per room per night. Uh, and, uh, yes, that would be helpful. Uh, uh, do, do you? Uh, are you? Uh, uh, would you like all of the rooms, or just just? Uh, we'll take two rooms. T uh, maybe three rooms. We have a lot of people. How many people tip will like fit in each room? <laughs> I, should, I guess I should ask. It. I mean, we're, we're not all going to be sleeping in bed. They, uh, the, the rooms are uh, nice and as, as clean as can be, but I, uh, they are intended for one to two people. We should just get off. Let's get, well, at, at least three, because Gail's probably going to, like, sleep outside or whatever, and so someone just has a third person, and then we... <laughs> Breaking news. Forest spirit found sleeping outside of local inn. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy found a tree. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, he would look for a tree that he could sleep in first. Uh, Mouse is just gonna look at them and go, y'all act like I'm not okay with sleeping on the floor. Just give me a blanket and a pillow yeah, and I don't... So, we, if we do three, then one room just has three people, I think. Yeah. And then the other two rooms just have two people. See, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of you. So, mm -hmm. you know, y'all could go two, two to a room. Yeah, we could just take all four. It's fine. All right. Okay, four rooms. That'll be four two, gold. Gold, right? two, gold two gold. Two gold. Two gold from the party food. Oh no. I, I, I want you guys to know, Jill keeps giving the microphone a look, and I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. She's gonna eat that microphone. True. Um, oh, she's that gonna move. bore it. She's gonna push it, was, it over. <laughs> it was in response to you saying, uh, you should know I'm okay with sleeping on the floor. Like, <laughs> my row brain turned on and was like, if I have to touch the floor, <laughs> every one of you fuckers die. Bitch, I'm floating. <laughs> cool. Carry me to my room. Yes. To be fair, okay, last I... time that they did sleep somewhere, Mosey did carry her. Because she was drunk. Uh... I did whisper it to you, but can I have that secondary like character sheet? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good way to track party it's funds. Like, really, doing it on like paper, but that's getting annoying. Yeah, it just takes so much time. I know. Uh, I think I'll set up a handout that you guys can uh, edit. Give me a quick second. Okay. Or at least let me edit it, only yeah. since I'm the one who's in charge of it. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have the money. You have to get it yeah. from Cal first to spend it. It doesn't so matter. It's it. it's all of yours. It's like the card thing. True. Uh, so that not. should be that should be editable to all of you. Okay. Cool. All right. Somebody edit it to say a million dollars. I oh will. boy! Guess what? I won't believe. Get it out I of the will. way now. Anyway, so we're just gonna get. So how are we gonna room? I will uh, room with Gail because I do want to talk to him for a hot second. Talk. Dear cries as a twin leaves. No. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, Dale will room with Rudy? Yeah, that's, that makes sense. 
Awkward besties. <laughs> that means We're Morgan and Maddie. Uh, it's so funny, though. I mean, if Bo is willing to show a bed, Maddie can stay with us. We're getting four rooms, we don't need that. Yeah, we're getting all four rooms, so... Oh, uh, then so... yeah, Mercy will be with Bo and forced her to share the bed this time. <laughs> Dave's just you not comfortable sure sharing a room with Maddie. Bo is and, this big. And Madeline is going to be sleeping in the same room as Morgan. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting rid sorry, of the party gold from my character sheet. Wait, That's why? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no reason to be a bit stabby. <laughs> I, she's, I think she's working on it. It's working on it. Sleep stabbing. Okay, but Rose's <laughs> never gonna look at the fact she pulled a dagger on her. Oh, I know nope. that. Nope. And she shouldn't. Oh, the jig is up. You added my surname to my character sheet. It's it's just easier uh, because I I couldn't remember your fucking your <laughs> fucking surname, so I'm just like, God damn it, I just put it there. Not have a surname. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, they don't use it a lot, or at least Dad doesn't use it a lot. It's still good to have. <laughs> uh, I just don't have it. I'm I'll let you, I'll let you guys basically do whatever you want by this point. You're in investigation mode. Uh, okay. Uh, I'd like to go. Oh, she's just gonna be like, I'd like. Cut what? out. Oh, she cut out. Me? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna repeat that. Uh, I think we should go. I can't well, hear you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why? Go yeah. closer to the mic when you lower your voice. Or okay. It does not. We like could when I go speak, to the fort, you. but wouldn't it be good to check around here? I th he well, it's late now, so we probably want to go I'm to the saying, fort in the mornings, in the but morning, we do yes, probably want to check out Tot's old room. Yeah, I disappeared do. from here, not the fort. So wouldn't it make sense to check around here since this uh, is where I do, he I do, I from? think he found something at the. True, but I do have something that might at least let us know if he's here. Okay. Recently, when I've been praying to Sarenrae, I have discovered the ability to find certain objects over a distance of. I believe it's about feet. a thousand feet. Yeah, a thousand feet. It was like so it's in a wide area and I could try to do it on his journal or his belt that had magic properties. Uh. So I wanna say according to the spell, any object that is like or I can find like the closest type of object. Now if you do magic belt that can return thrown things to it, I feel like that's very specific enough. Uh let me check. A specific object known to you, as long as you've seen it up close within thirty feet at least once. Mm, you uh, have not seen or it. Or you can locate the nearest object of a certain kind, such as a certain kind of apparel, jewelry, furniture, tool, or weapon. So basically, that'd be like you going, I want to find a kukri. And it points out all the kukris in a room full of daggers. Uh, not, uh, it points out all the magic belts that can suddenly make objects return to them. It is. You can also sense the nearest object that you can describe in a basic way. Isn't that like a basic way? Uh... Worth a shot. Journal, journal would not be good because journal, you're gonna find the closest yeah, journal. Um, let me pull up the official spell card from the thing. I would just point that out. <laughs> uh, Stop it. Um. Once, uh, as a certain kind, it doesn't say anything about the object you can just uh, an object known to you that you can describe or name. Magic belt. Is that not something I can specifically look for? But it's not familiar. You can look for magic to belts. You. It'll look well, much, though. I mean, how many magic belts are really going to be out here? Plot twist. We all are, of us we are wearing are. magic belts. <laughs> <laughs> Same, I we're could... about to find out. <laughs> exactly. So I can try this and then we can walk around town if you guys would like. Shaking down people with magic belts. <laughs> Get over here, motherfucker. Send it's... Gale after him. <laughs> oh, God, Do we no. want to try this? It, I, it's, I mean, it won't hurt. Alright, then let us walk around town, and I will cast Locate Object, looking for magic belts. Okay. Uh, you walk around town, and you cast off Magic uh, Locate Object. It lasts for and 10 minutes. It lasts for 10 minutes, yes. Uh are you going to start off in a certain location or no? Or like, we'll start like right outside the tavern and then okay. we'll just walk around town. Uh, you you begin walking around town and I will say you do get a ping or a few, I should say a few 
pings as you are concentrating and looking for magic belts. Mm. Uh, but those are as you are passing by the silvered vial. The silver vial is the... Yeah, the silver vial. It, it's a shop, apparently. It, the silver file or fire? Vial. Oh. Do I have to spell this too? <laughs> yes. C I A L. Like, guys. Yeah. You know what's like, sad? Like, I spelled like I spelled V-O, it wrong in my minus notes. the O and replace it with an A. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Gotcha. It appears to be a magic shop of some kind. There are a couple of pings in there, so. Either someone's wearing about five belts, or <laughs> yes. I I tell us to the group, and I guess we keep walking around town. Do we we can stop here on the way back. As as you begin moving morning. through the rest I'm of the town, assuming the shop's closed, right? Uh, the the shop is currently closed. It's about seven or eight o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, but as you begin moving through the rest of the town, uh, just kind of sweeping along the streets, it's, it's a thousand feet. It's a thousand feet, and you don't find anything. Okay, well, in the morning we can check out the shop. If it's not in there, maybe, or if it, the specific belt we're looking for isn't there, it could be pawned and maybe they know something. Why aren't we going? I still want to go to the fort in the morning. Like, so, this will take hey, like yeah. 20 minutes. After, when this is all done, Gail's actually going to walk up to the door of the silvered vial. Yes. Oh no. And he's going to try the door and see if it opens. It does not. Okay. Oh my god. Gail, it'll be it there in the morning. It does not seem to be open. <laughs> no, it's Sometimes not. Sometimes people leave spend... things open and turn off the lights. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we could get up Good early boy. and spend 30 minutes investigating the shop, and then we can go to the fort. Okay. I don't well, think let's that's go back and fun. investigate his room, then. Maybe there's, and maybe detect magic in it or something. I don't know. Okay. So you're going to go over to the room? Unless anyone else has something else to do, no, yeah. That's, that seems like a good idea. That's what Mosley was going to do instead of following you all. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you guys all head over to uh, the third room on the right, as described to you, which is, uh, I'm going to say, it's going to be Ro and Mercy's room. Uh, and Mercy's already looking through it, so Mercy, roll an in, uh, investigation check. Yeah. This will end so well, guys. You ready for this? Nope. Yeah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Oh, Dan's really I'm, excited about I mean, this. There's nothing under the bed. I could do it. Or the bedside do, tables. I could do, uh, oh my god. I, could, I, should, I could do luck, but it's... <laughs> observe, as I do luck and it gets worse. No. Wow. Oh, it got better. Uh, you do not believe that there are any kind of hidden... Uh, any kind of hidden uh, cavities on the floor or below the actual bed itself. Uh, you do find hidden behind the actual um, bedside table itself in a small you little cut out. panel. We cut oh. out. Did we? God damn it. Oh, no, can fine. you hear me? We can hear you. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jill? Broke. Jess? I think we Internet lost machine. Them. Oh, Internet no. Machine broke. We can hear them, but they can't hear us. <laughs> it's, it's oh, no. so bad. No, we can hear them, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're we couldn't now. hear you guys at all. No, Are we you can bad? hear you guys. You're like, no, Internet machine. Yeah, we couldn't hear you, any of you. Oh. Anyway, you... I didn't decide to spill but, all uh, my as... backstories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as as you guys are as you're looking around the room, uh, you don't find anything uh, too noteworthy, save for a small panel on the side table that does pop down. And as you do so, you find there's a small there's a small little gem, just kind of stashed behind the bedside table. I'm taking it. Okay. <laughs> okay. My Please man. add to your inventory one small emerald. All right. <laughs> nice job misspelling one. I that know. Really right? impressive. W uh, W O N. I will say the problem is her keyboard's bigger than mine, so I'm not used ah. to it. Uh huh. I don't That's think that's what she said. So I think as soon as we get in, I'm going to take ten minutes because I do not have it. Yeah, I don't have it up. Mm-hmm. I will take ten minutes to cast detect magic. That's cool. In Roa so, Mercy's room, she's gonna investigate the bed by sleeping on it. Got it. Um, uh, roll me uh, a constitution check. Hello? Yeah. Okay. J- just a straight constitution? Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck, I can't sleep in this bed. <laughs> One of all you've done. I- you, you attempt to sleep in this bed, and Wait, it's, a it's one. It, 
Oh yeah, re-roll? you can reroll. Oh right. Is it if one of the said, ones I can reroll? If you really want to. Yeah. Okay. Well, mine, mine is just it happens. It's an ability check, so. <laughs> it's just ability. Go ahead, go wild, buddy. I hope I get a two. No. Oh, okay. Okay, you sleep. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all you're rolling for. I was messing with you. Yeah. I want roll you to know. Sleep. She falls asleep, and Mercy's just gonna lightly push her until she's over enough that Mercy can sleep on the bed. <laughs> Jessica's gonna get stabbed tonight. It's gonna be on the news. You Throw say us that a like I'm. Spoon. Wait. <laughs> you say that like I'm staying here when you're falling asleep immediately after this. Do you uh, have future vision, bitch? <laughs> no, but you've been sitting over there quiet, covered in a blanket this time. Am I asleep right now? Almost. <laughs> so uh, the rest of the team eventually heads over to the room. And finds one okay. heavily asleep <laughs> bro, uh, as well as a mercy. Uh, and using your detect magic, uh, erudite, you begin looking through the room, attempting to find any kind of uh, objects that have been stashed using the magic, uh, any kind of magical items that were stashed, and you do not find anything. Okay. Yes, I think uh, I think going to the f- in the morning will be a good idea. And then she's gonna go to her room. Like, uh, yeah, no. I mean, I want to investigate the room. Okay. Is there anything anybody else would like to do? But, I mean... Um... Uh, I, I, the day of, I, I know I know. Mercy had, like, a really good check, but Thea still wants to, like, investigate the room herself. Okay, you can... You can so, she's, she's, just gonna, she's just gonna do that. <laughs> Alright. It look, looks like you... it's... You look the room up, room up and down as carefully as possible without root waking up Ro, and uh, you do not find anything. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I'm doing is carving tonight. So. Roll another check. Uh, what do you yeah. What do you want from me? I know. I know. Well, I'm not just gonna give it to you. You could. <laughs> no. Oh, that was bad for me. You got luck. Yeah, I'm gonna. Use it. <laughs> Might as well. well it it makes sense when I sleep. Right, yeah. So. There you go. Alright, cool. The symbol of Saren Ray is coming out pretty well. Uh, when we go into the room, like, the hour before, like, when, when Dan, like, you want to, you just want to, like, like, do you want to practice some more? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> to teach you how to say hello, how are you, in, in Draconic. <laughs> in Draconic? Yeah. Yeah. She's learning Draconic what? from, uh... I'm teaching her Draconic. And I'm Plot teaching twist. her Jay is the one that's going to sleep with Kytus. <laughs> <laughs> She's teaching me D. Yeah. <laughs> the temptation to put the words carving, like, the what's left on a row is so high, but I also know Joe would murder me where I sleep. So. The night comes and goes. Uh, um, I would just like to say we're stacked with Gail. Sorry. Oh, yes! You had a scene you wanted to do, yep. didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I apologize. I, I almost completely skipped right okay. over you. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'm taking the bed, then? I'll ask. Well, yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually probably fit in. I normally don't find beds too comfortable. If you were, if you were to judge Gale compared to the bed itself, you think his, like, lower legs would kind of flop off the edge of the bed? Like he could probably have his legs dangling while hat while with with his head at the front of the, the top of the bed. You don't think it'll work? Well, well, then the antlers would get stuck too. Yeah, and then there's the antlers. Yeah. Well, I give him the pillows then. <laughs> I'll be fine. Like, right. You sure? I slept in far worse aboard various ships. I I normally sleep on the ground anyway, and I prefer being against the trees. So this is about as close as I'm going to get indoors. Yeah, they're dead trees. <laughs> they are. So I wanted to thank you for helping Maddie and me get back up after the fight with the fiery undead thing. No worries at all. I... When you're with a group of friends or traveling around, you always look out for each other. We're friends. Oh, I can say like he says this in like a very like surprised manner. I know my tone didn't convey it, yeah. but yeah. He's 
I would consider us all friends. We take a, take another swing at that one, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> take two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we all have a similar goal, at least for the time being. We are all trying to kill each other constantly. I would consider us all friends at the moment. Yes. I guess so. But I'm sorry that your first real mission, for what it's worth, was something you didn't want to do, and you got down in. Well, this was my my first mission with you all. I have I have done things before. This is. What the fuck is going on? I I have come out worse from fights than than that before. So no worries. Well. Hopefully, in the future, we will avoid going down like that. But thank you again. You're very welcome. Anytime. I'm happy to happy to help friends. Mm. If we continue to play this intelligently and follow the follow the mission, do our best. I don't see any reason why we should easily be able to. Avoid giant balls of fire. I haven't found them to be too common in the wild. I gotta admit that I haven't seen fireballs before, have I, Connor? Fireballs? Mm hmm. Oh. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like they're common on the ocean. Uh, so, mm -hmm. no, not really. I mean, I mean, you've seen big fires before. Well, I guess it's. The closest thing I've seen to it is a cannon on a ship. Are there cannons? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's okay. guns, there's cannons. I know, I know, I, know. Yeah. I just don't yeah, check. Yeah, man, of course. Run the industrial age, man. Of course there's I cannons. was double checking. They're like really if big, simple guns. If you don't think I'm going to bust out a steam-powered Gatling gun at some point, you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Uh, Connor, do not, do not invoke Connor, that. Connor, if you want, also. I have a homebrew item. No, that no, no that was a Gatling joke. Gun. That was a bad joke. Also, I want I, you to know. No, I actually have a homebrew look of amazement on her face <laughs> anyway <laughs> like, it woke up instantly uh yeah about the only person who i had seen regularly do anything like that with with fire was my mother your mother how did she yeah. do that with fire um she was one with nature she was the the leader of our tribe oh she was a druid then Yes, yes, in, in common they would be referred to as druids. I knew a druid too. Like, not afraid, I'm not that familiar. He was a good friend to me. Mm hmm. Don't actually know what happened to him. Uh, druids are. If you're one with nature, you often follow its whims. It's actually a rather pleasant life, if, if I'm being completely honest. The, the whole following a, a set path through the woods and traveling along roads as we have is rather odd for me. Well, he seemed to have a good time when he was with me. And I enjoyed his company in more ways than one. Well, Drew would interesting people, I would assume so. I'm glad mm -hmm. that you had a good experience with your friend. Yes. He actually is the person who taught me what I know about medicine. They are very, very good with medicine. There's a lot you can learn from, from nature, just about basic medicines and different herbs and things that will heal. That's where mm -hmm. I learned all of mine from. And is that where you get your powers from, then? They're like the druids. Um... Well, I, I, I'm sure there, there is some that is, that is innate for me, but most of it, I just draw through my connection with nature. I want to defend it. It has defended me and, um, some of my abilities from that other is just, I don't have much of an explanation for it, but I believe my my natural connection with nature being that of clearly not human descent um i 
the connection is on a level that I, I, I have trouble explaining to, to those who haven't felt it. Um, but it is with me at all times, and I draw upon that. I draw upon my own conviction and my own will. So you don't worship the god, then just nature in general? Correct, correct. Um, I, I'm sure gods exist. I'm sure all manner of things exist that I will never know. Well, but... like, for what it's worth, I can tell you that you know, at least one god exists. <laughs> now oh. he just sort of looks down at his early symbol. <laughs> That's right, that is... Um... Uh, Saren Ray, I believe, is is what mm -hmm. she is named. Yes, she's picked me for some reason. Apparently, I oh. I just had a piece of moment of faith, and I guess she saw me and liked me. And no, and I do the like little sacred flame trip mm -hmm. or trick and just sort of hold it in my hand. Now I can do things, and then I put it out. Yeah, it's. Well, I would imagine that my connection with nature is probably similar to that of you with your with your Saren Ray. However, I I can't do anything with flames, but I. I do ask for help from nature from time to time, and I make sure that that nature is protected. And unfortunately, a lot of people seem to disregard it, to almost hate it, and it makes me sad at times. But I will always be there to. You get really because technically sacred flame like a ball of light just it's it's, di it's divine so it's not really light like sorry it's not really fire it's just it's just like a ball of light appears yeah in my it's hand. light that yeah. looks like fire it's it's the name causes so many problems because there are plenty of times where people are like can i light a fire using flame? and the answer is no no <laughs> no it's just light it's mm. just it's just radiant doom. light it's divine mm -hmm. radiant light that's it mm -hmm. And uh, where was I going with this? I had a thought. Okay. Um, what did you just say, Jay? Sorry. <laughs> oh, they're dying. I'm fine, well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wish you luck with your connection to your god. I imagine mine is similar, and you seem to be further down the path of your connection than I am. It is a most excellent journey to take. Thank you, Dale. And I guess with that, I'll wish you a good night and he'll sleep. Alright. And then Gale is going to take part of the night. Um, he's going to take out the bones and some leather cording and he's just going to kind of crudely tie it to the uh, cording, make himself a necklace. Yep. And then sleep. Normal sleep. Yeah. I'll, and I'll, I will say, like, as Cole, is Cal gonna sleep in his armor? You're no. in a bed. No. Okay. Uh, he's as lucky like, to be wearing, he's only wearing his pants, though. I'll say thank that. God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, he's actually, I was gonna before. say the same thing with Gale. Like, he's just wearing pants, and that's it. Gotcha. They so, have some decorum. Cal, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You note that Gale is giant and muscular. <laughs> Yes. Oh, <laughs> trust me. Trust me. He checks him out. Uh, and Gail, you note that Cal is small, wiry, and covered in tattoos. Those are very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, and is there anything else you guys wish to talk about? Nope. Uh, not on my end, at least. <laughs> uh, nope. Good. So, um, the night goes on, and potentially day breaks and you are all able to get up and do whatever you so wish if you want you can go get a meal from the innkeeper or what have you i will eat get food something to go and then i'll head towards the silver vial cool 
I'm also heading that way. Yeah, yeah what we'll are you doing, join. buddy? Okay, you're going uh, with him? Yep. So, I will, so I will point out to you. Actually, just roll me a, per a perception check. Perception check. <laughs> All right. So you step into Whisper for me. All right. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you get for sleeping almost naked, Cal. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Also, I looked at the value of what an emerald is. God, I hope it's actually worth that much. It's just... You're cutting out. How much is it worth? I said it's disgusting how much it's worth if it's actually worth that. Ugh. Well, it is small though. Yeah. It's small, but uh, according to the Dungeon Master's Guide, the standard emerald is worth a thousand gold. Ooh. Ooh, and even part of that would be like 200, still a lot. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Many. Glad I found it, not y'all. <laughs> Whatever, man. But I guys, I have money. I have like 57 gold. I can I pay have, for. I have 70 something. I'm I fine. I have 467 gold. The the big tattoo mostly wants us for all of us because it's past without trace. If you want to pass without a trace, which is for honestly everyone. That's good. I just I'm, want my dagger. <laughs> I want spells, bro. I want a fireball real bad. Real Jill bad. just said she wants to know how to use her gun. That's all I. What want. the fuck is EP? What? Huh? Why do uh, I have bath. nine uh, EP? Oh, electron. Oh, those are electron pieces? Those are not anything? You can get rid of that. I don't... Okay. I think you found them in the ruins. Yeah, yeah like... you did, because I was... I hate you all, and I wanted to punish you. <laughs> with I... electrum. I, just, electrum I just don't remember... The shittiest it. of all gold... It's the five gold, gold, right? The it's only five, thing worse silver. than electrum oh. in D&D &D is the I'm bag of a thousand them. ball bearings. <laughs> it's like yeah. the worst item because everybody's like can can we track it it's like do you want to track a thousand ball bearings really really it's, do you want to do this it's easier on D&D &D Beyond I actually stole it from my rogue so oh, God. you know what you can do it you went can just down dump them all out at once just dump them all still gotta track them got to dump them all so man, it, yeah it just caused issues ball bearings. Anyway. we can get a bag of holding and fill it with them Oh, that's no. not. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> what of my bag of uh, the bag of holding in my Wednesday game has water in it? Just water. Just just water. <laughs> just Bad water. Just water. Just Worst pocket dimension it. ever. <laughs> I, I will explain it after. I will. Yeah, explain we're running out of time. I just realized how horrific that would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Imagine you fell into that because it's pitch black. There's no air, and you're just in a bunch of water now. Yeah, yeah you, you dead. <laughs> That's a horrible torture device. Uh... So, on to the game. Yes. Gail, that's the thing I told you. And Got it. Y'all can continue on and do whatever you so wish. If you want to get a meal from uh, from the innkeeper, from... Yeah. Um... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's three, it is two silver. Yeah, Daya's not really interested in the silver vial. So I want to go to the fort. Yeah, she's just impatiently waiting for the fort. So she's just gonna get a meal and like wait for the people to return. Should I, we I, I would quickly like to to check the... out this store and then return to I would to like, the but fort. I, I don't want to walk into a. I don't want to walk into a store where I can't buy anything. So I'm just like... <laughs> it just reason. wants to continue we with got, the mission. We get she it. You're care. impatient. We're going to the store. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys uh, head into the silver vial after picking up a meal. I would assume, or not, whatever. Mm -hmm. A little if bit. If you of did, yeah. it's too silver. Uh, so too maybe like maybe no, because Gail's got a bunch of food from the other. I just place, wiped so just something off my sister's plate as we leave. <sighs> cool. Not so. the hash browns. <laughs> Not the hash browns. So me and Day are gonna hang out and we're yeah. gonna practice while we're we leave. <laughs> we're gonna practice. Right, so, I'm not uh, gonna lie. Every I moment that we possibly talking. can, we're gonna. Yeah. Uh, that's up to you guys. Mercy, Ro, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm following them to the store. I assume Ro was still. Asleep. No, you assuming correctly. She's following. All right. Okay, you guys are going to the store. Right. Uh, so, Gail uh, is going to make sure that he's the first one to the door, and he's going to try. <laughs> you gonna try to open it? Yes, the door yes. does open up. Uh, <laughs> it and... seems to be open. He kind of yells that down the street to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Moss is gonna look him go. Stores tend to be open during the day. Yes. Cal gives him uh, a thumbs up. Look, yeah. Oh my god. So, uh, Mercy Row. 
Gale, and Calaron, you all make your way into the Silver Vial. And as you open the door, you hear a bell go, ding, 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 ding. And you hear a distant voice go, hold on a second. Give me a second. I'll be there in just a minute. All and shot voice people. <laughs> hustling in uh, from the back room, uh, you see what appears to be a man wearing uh, very nice makeup with bright purple dyed hair with loose curls that fall down past his shoulder. Uh, and wearing a very nice, uh, sleek and well-fitting dress. The man looks at you and goes, hello. Welcome to my shop. Connor. Connor. Is he yes. hot? Connor, is he hot? He's pretty good looking, actually. <laughs> Hell yeah. Greetings you know, you and said, salutations, friend. You said the purple hair and Jill put a hand to her heart. <laughs> this is, yes, this is my favorite character. <laughs> Even uh, over Jim? Uh, he's, mm, never mind. <laughs> Hmm. Shit. Uh, I was gonna say, Jim's Cal out. Cal will out go up to the counter and say, Hi, I was wondering if you could help me with something. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Cal. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name's Harvey. Harvey. Granted, you can call me whatever you want, sweetie. Oh my <laughs> god! Yep. Cal, <laughs> smile this big Cheshire kind of grid like he is here for this. Well, I was thinking I would I do myself thinking back to this game. Actually, I'm looking for a specific belt. Not for me, but a friend of ours sorts came oh, through right. here around 10 years ago and I was wondering if you happen to have a belt of like it apparently can like return things you throw from it to ah, you. Ah, yes. It... Is that what it's that's... called? Mm, yes, that's what they're called. Uh, no, I don't have that. You're talking about Mr. Tuck, though, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you knew him. Yes, uh, he was quite an interesting cat. Uh, he uh, he came into my store a little while ago. Well, I shouldn't say that. He came into my store about ten years ago. And uh, had a lot of questions about stuff and things. And... Like what? Well, uh, he was curious about some objects he found on his uh, most recent job. What were they, if you remember? Oh, I do. That was... That was interesting. He had, with him, uh, a few small magic trinkets. That really, nothing of note. But he had a dagger. He had a dagger that had inscriptions of one of the old sky cities. <laughs> now, uh, that sky was interesting. City. Yes. I've never heard of them, right? That's not surprising. Well, you can roll history if you want. Sure. It's... Too bad I'm not with you guys. I'll do it. I hey, don't you care. made your decision. That's fine. Uh, no. Figured. Like, you've heard legends? That's about it. Okay, but Mosey's blunt. She's gonna look at him and go, what the fuck is a flying city? Well, uh, way, way back, before the schism, before even then, there were cities that were brought up from the ground itself and then let loose to just fly in the air. they travel wherever they wanted to and they do uh, well, they were recognized as locations with very, very good magic uh, spellcasters and the like. Um, the one, the dagger he had was had markings from uh, one called Danos Isle. Danos Isle. Danos. T A N O S. Danos. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just yeah. to... And uh, that that hasn't been heard of in uh, thousands of years. It's it was it really it was. It was a sight to behold. That dagger was... If I had the money for it, I would have bought it off of him. But, um... I'm not a rich man. I'm only an alchemist. <laughs> so he still... Did he have that dagger to your knowledge still on him when he disappeared? Absolutely. He was very interested in it. Huh. I mean, Perhaps he was looking for it when, <laughs> after he got the job. Uh, do we know if Danos is still around? Wait, what do you, you mean the city? Yeah, is Dano oh. still around, or is it like fallen, or? Uh, really? I say that they flew, but 
that's what we think. They are the legends, really. That's all. Um, but uh, I, I don't know that that dagger really. If that dagger was from Danos, then that was that would be amazing. That that would prove something that scholars haven't been able to actually honestly, accurately <coughs> prove for years. But, well, uh, so to answer if, your question, I don't know. That's fair. Well, if we find him and the dagger, I'd be more than happy to let you take another look at it. You know, Ooh. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. Hey. <laughs> Oh my god. And of course is like smiling and definitely Mostly not even up, covering but... her lap at that. Well, I do appreciate the offer. Uh now I'm well, if you manage to find that dagger, that would be gosh. I, I wouldn't be able to offer enough money for that thing. Yeah. Maybe you could buy a small city with it. Um especially if it was if it was real. If it was genuine then that would be that would be amazing. But, um, yeah. He asked a lot about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, still, uh, welcome to the Silver Vial. Is there anything I can uh, assist you all with? Uh, any uh, potions you need from me? Any uh, magic items? Stuff like that? Well, since we're here, do you have anything interesting? <laughs> well... Um, I made a couple of potions of giant strength a few days ago. I got through a batch of health potions. Um, really, uh, do you have anything in particular? Do you have anything that helps one free their mind? Yes. Mind. <laughs> Something potentially from the Feywild. Is he asking for drugs? Are you talking about drugs? <laughs> of course I am, friend. I am told that I'm not supposed to be blunt about that sort of thing. Yeah, fair apologize. enough. Uh, I don't care all that much, really, but um, I'm sure I have something that can um, oh add your mind a bit. I'm just interested in trying something new, and if you have something small, I'd be happy to, oh, to no. take a little bit. Rose sort, of, Rose sort of leans forward and is like, make that two. <laughs> oh, How about three? Uh, Gale reaches out his hand for a high five. He <laughs> like by the step ladder. <laughs> he like reaches down. He reaches down. It is reciprocated. <laughs> mm, yeah, he high fives. Cal high fives Gale too. Excellent. Well, uh, uh, I've got some of the uh, some of the safer stuff. I have some Yamamori that is good for a, a few potions and uh, I'm allowed to buy it because of that, but um, really, if you smoke that it can um, boy, that can put you out of it for a while uh, aside from that um, I'm sure I've got a few I'm sure I can make a brew or something of the sort that could um, yeah, I suppose give you a buzz for a bit, or anything of that sort Mercy's just pinching the bridge of her nose at this I'd be in, I'd be interested in in the second. That does seem like something I haven't experienced in a long time or haven't seen. Oh right, uh, yes. Uh, give me, hmm. I'd say, give me about twenty five gold in about five minutes. I'm sure I can set you up with something that'll uh, give you quite a quite a jolt of energy. How, hey, Connor. consider it done, friend. Connor, right. how far do you think this shop is from? How far is it? Yeah. Oh. In the tavern, few few hundred feet. Like <laughs> few not, hundred. I'm asking that... if it's is it within message range. Ah uh, no. It's not three hundred feet. Yeah, no, it's not okay. that close. Okay. Mousy's gonna look at him and go. Now this potion about giant strength. What's yes. that? <laughs> oh uh, well, um, I have a potion of stone giant stone giant strength. It's um pretty good. It'll um make you uh, tougher for uh. I believe it's about a few hours to a day, something of that sort. Uh, really, uh, do you have uh, how how strong would you like to become? <laughs> Muzzy looks at Gale and goes, "Strong enough to lift him." Okay, well, um, <laughs> huh? 
Give me a second. And he's going to wander off into the back room and look around. Mostly because I don't remember the price. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, bu- 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 Those aren't Hold cheap, on. if I remember correctly. I know, but I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying off the top of my head. And I think they only last for an hour, depending on which I one I think so as well. Yep. Also, I want to sell this emerald so bad. But I need to have <laughs> I need to make sure it's not magical. Does it look like there are any like cloaks that he has out in the store that he's showing off? Uh and like, what else is in there? Is it just like potions and stuff? Uh there it's a lot of there are a lot of potions that line the uh, line the shelves and mm-hmm. are all along. Uh, also there are uh, magic belts. Do I see those? Uh no, you don't see any in here. But you do see a couple of cloaks, a couple of rings. Uh they're all held up in uh uh, sorry, held in small cases that keep them locked up, locked down. Uh, do the rings have anything interesting? Uh, Other labels? You, don't, you do not know. Well, I can describe them to you if you so wish. But that's about all I can do for you. I'll ask him when he gets back then. Okay. Uh, I can't find the fucking price. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, we're not going to the. Eat my we're probably not going to the fort in this session. So if no, you want, you can just like wrap no, up. No, you guys, and you guys totally shopping. can. Kind of. What's up? We're shopping. Uh, uh, it's already seven. I know. We can stream. We can cut the stream early. We don't. Oh need to right, you gotta leave now. She's gotta go. Ish. Yeah. Uh, like I have I'll, a few more minutes, will... but I gotta know like if we're wrapping up. Oh no, soon. don't worry. I will. I will get back to you on the prices on that in a bit. But we can cut it off here uh, if you need to get going. Well, why don't it's you leave? We finish up shopping and then we'll you, start. We can wrap up. Uh, yeah, like let her finish shopping. Yeah. And so you can so you can finish shopping. Us. We'll just have to go to the fort next get back time. Back to us, so I can do at least a history roll and whatever they tell us. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so my friends are coming here. So like they're, they're just checking to see if I'm done. Ah. So it'll be like a couple minutes, but yeah. Yeah, just I'd say cut the stream. We can finish up shopping, and then we'll just. End it I down. don't need to cut the stream. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I just want to buy the rope. I would also like. <laughs> Thank I also you, want to point out, Jill. I also want to know how much health potions. Cost. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Uh, yeah, those are the two things I was interested in. Oh, uh, so uh, first off, the drugs. <laughs> he'll he'll give you three vials of unknown liquid. For 25 gold. Peach? Or... I, it's already out nope. of my gold. He already bought them gold. All. Period. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, you're no, doing, no. Uh, you're so kind. Thank yeah, you. Gail, Gail bought it and he's taking the three vials he put in I want you to know that immediately made Will like you a bit more. <laughs> he, 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 also, he also has a. There's also other interesting vials in that pouch, too. So. Oh, yeah. I figured. Yeah. Oh, God. So I was going to have a fucking heyday with him. <laughs> We're having fun. I will say this. Do not end this badly. Do not do something bad. The three of you should not get in trouble. We won't get in trouble. I'm saving these for later. I don't know where you're speaking Uh, to. uh, Mercy's not even Uh, looking at him. She's looking uh, at Ro. Because she knows Ro. If I have to pull you out of another brothel in the middle of the night, you weren't sleeping there, but you were tripping. Now, you sound like a fun girl to party with. (laughs) <laughs> Muzzy looks at him and goes I've done a lot I've seen a lot I've... Well, I'd imagine you to be pretty fun too but I was talking to your friend Ugh. Real winks at him Hey, <laughs> hey. Cal just has gonna... the wicked ground on his this entire time He is delighted so, uh, I can give pointing you... at them like a mom I can give you some uh, minor potions of healing for about 50 gold each um, uh, Greater potions of healing are about 150 and I've got only one potion of superior healing, but that's about 450 gold. Pretty expensive. Uh, Get the baby ones. I was, about to say, <laughs> I, I was about to say, should we do it out of the or should I just... I know I want one. That's why I was asking. I'll talk uh, if we want to use the party funds, I feel like using them on health potions would be an okay thing. We've never discussed it as a group, and I'll say this in character in case it wasn't clear. Yeah, I, I just, I feel like anybody who can't heal should have at least one healing potion on them, just in case. Uh, I've remember quickly, a uh, healing potion is, what is it? Uh, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4, yeah, it's 2d4 plus 2. It's like a magic missile for healing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just imagining shit. All of them are, actually? It's the same thing? Like Yeah, basically. 
It's just their, huh. their, their magic missiles. There, it's plus whatever the amount of yeah. fours. Can that be a spell? Fours. Healing magic missile. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be funny though. I guess that's healing word essentially. <laughs> it is essentially. I kind of, yeah. I shoot you with healing. Bang. Uh, but yeah, I as long as I think anyone who can't Damn. heal has one on them, we should be good. So yeah. that's. How many? I, I already. Dea already yeah. has one, by the way. Uh, I have you don't know quite a few. I know this. You know that. Yeah, uh, I've got. I've got quite a few uh, potions of healing. They're they're pretty easy to make. Uh, um, healing. I've at only least got get one from Morgan. <laughs> Morgan I... should have one. Laura Let's can heal. Get three. Yeah, I think three is how many we have that can't heal. I do yeah. not have one. I would just like to point that out. Rudy well, does not. Have oh well. One. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I want what... how it is, but you're playing out. your character a little too much. Yeah, a little bit. I know. I know. Also, Woody would get one even if Marcy had to fucking uh, buy it. He didn't actually say that out loud. I, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. You're fine. I don't want Rudy to die, in all fairness. Okay, I will edit the party. Cal fun. might. Well, no, I don't think friend, Cal thank either. you for for all of your Hopefully. help. Um, I believe there were a couple people that we were staying with, and I think we need to check in on them. But I there believe okay. we will probably be back here shortly. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, just if you're curious, uh, Miss um, Mercy, Mercy, uh, the uh, Stone Giant Strength Potion's about six hundred and fifty gold. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Yep. You better off getting. That involuntary reaction. It will let you, uh... You'll make you more than strong enough to, uh, lift your friend over there. I... Mm, the <laughs> temptation! If I had that much... Tattoos, man! I need tattoos! What do you uh, want, really? That's, uh... That's that's life, isn't it? You know? Mm-hmm. Like Listen, I want books, but I also want spells. Judging, <laughs> judging whether or not you should spend more money on drinking or spend more money on getting some sick tats. Hey, but, I spent my money the way I wanted to spend it. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> you still have money. I know. Uh, but yes. So how many how many uh, healing potions are you guys going to we get? We got three. Just four. Okay, got three regular healing three. potions. I already deducted it from the party funds. Cool, cool, cool. Because uh, I'm still in charge. On a universal mm -hmm. shoot. Should right. should we add that? to our inventory, or should we add that to the party supplies? Uh, Put it in individual inventory. Specific inventories. people would be having them, I feel like. Yeah. So for now, I'd say you have them. Maybe one for... I'd say you can hand them out when you now. just get there. Yeah, but for now, put them in your inventory. Uh, yes. Uh, and I will say, uh, Harvey's got a whole lot of potions, so if you got something in mind, he's probably got something you can use. I'm not gonna make it. Harvey's gonna be Cal's best friend. Uh, he can also <laughs> make drugs. Like the unknown mm. potions you guys now are carrying. All right. Oh yeah. Let's... Hey, Harvey's him. Harvey's I a like fun him. dude. He oh, likes yeah. uh, he likes to party. Anyway, so since we're supposed to be wrapping up, I guess we're heading out now. Up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then on the way out, Cal before he like walks out, it's like, well, when we're done with our business at the fort, I'd love to come back. Yeah. It'll look them up and down and say, check out your wares. Oh my God. And then they just wink and walk out. <laughs> I'd love to see you too. Aren't you glad you're not there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I, I, I wanted to play that character for a while. I was like, oh, I can't wait to play Harvey. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. I like can Harvey. Can they just at least get back to the thing so I can at least, like, yeah, that's why I was, that's why. Yeah, that's tell like, me so I can at least do a history roll see if I know anything. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Drop the roll, bud. We spilled yeah. all the information we were given. Um, you know, legends. Yeah. Basically, the the sky sky cities and and locations like that were rumored to be very very powerful. Of um, well, locations that were magically enchanted to fly. Okay, um, that's cool. Are, yeah, I feel they, like that makes sense. Yeah, they well they were. Um, essentially havens for spellcasters, but really the stuff you hear about them are legends, you know? Yeah. You know, they, 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 apparently people who went there were talented enough to make, um, metals into gold just by touching it. You know, they nice. were, they were. This sounds like free schism stuff, right? Yeah, this yeah. is free schism, schism and they were, they were stories back, even back then. Okay, um, well, Man. perhaps... 
so yeah, you can okay. hand out the pot. We can you hand can divvy out the, up potions. the potions, so that way we don't forget next session. And, and then the drugs. I, I mean, I yeah, to... uh, Mercy's gonna hand to buy them. Mercy's gonna hand one off to Erudite and one off to uh, Moy, since Cal mentioned uh, that they already had one. Mm -hmm. Oh. So <laughs> Harvey, no! <laughs> <laughs> Harvey. He stabbed- I stabbed him. Ten times. In my back, how could you? I, I mean, liked he, you he, so much. You wanted him to stab you in the way anyway. Oh, no! <laughs> no. Mm, that's I not mean, what I wanted. Yeah. He was gonna wait until, you know, they're done with their thing and heading back Just, through Pencho. <laughs> Jessica um, just high-fived herself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> No one okay, else so will. Next week we're gonna I would if I was near you. I wonder if we'll find one. So are we, um... Jolly. Sorry, it was, are we, like... I think we're, we're done here. Yeah. I think it's okay. a good place to stop.